Good evening, everyone. What's up? Hey. Hello. Hope everyone is doing well. It is Sunday. This is the night where we do the, the theme. So, for today, we're going to be checking out a bunch of ROM hacks. I figured this could be something fun. Uh, I'm kind of curious about this. I don't know uh, anything about most of these. These are all finished. Uh, I didn't grab anything that was unfinished. I figured that it wasn't really something I was interested in doing. Bit of a, a bit of an exhausting day for me. Where those uh, those twins are getting uh, even more trouble than they're worth. <laughs> At least I don't have to take care of them a lot. So, uh, we are going to check out a bunch of hacks. Pretty, uh, pretty simple day. You ask me, I already got everything set up. Uh, Jet, how are you doing though? Golden, what's up? Aravive, hope you're doing well. Fredford Burger, welcome. Brayden, welcome on in. Akari, how you doing? How was everyone's day? Blade, what's up? Happy Hanukkah. Thanks, David. What's up, man? It is the final night of Hanukkah. That's eight days. Stressful and exhausted. Hey, just remember this. The year is almost over. Yeah, I made it this far. Three hours worth? Interesting. I'm basically uh, just uh, stretching and chilling for a bit. You know, it's the best way to start a stream. Getting some good stretches in while we're killing some time. Lotion, how you doing? Orion, what's up? The furthest right part of your nuts. Like, like your peanuts or your walnuts? Your cashews? You're just lucky that No Note November is uh, over. That would be a problem if you said that like a week ago. I might actually have to uh, ban you. Chestnuts. 
Why do they have nuts for chess? That's a, that's a good question. Not good. Man, is everyone just having like a really rough day or week today? They do an LG night. I don't know, it just, it just seems like everyone's like really down today. Yo, Mian, what's up? Bit nervous for something happening tomorrow. I wish you good luck with whatever it is. I don't know if you feel comfortable uh, talking about it, but either way, I hope it goes well. my brother though uh he tried to get me a gift and uh it was definitely not something that i wanted or had any interest uh like he was the i got you clothing guy but it was a shirt that i was like oh i hate this and i think he even came down later he's like he asked me he's like hey, do you like it i was like yeah i love it <laughs> it was one of those i was like uh oh I'm totally never gonna wear it. It is what it is, though. An event for Ubisoft. Yeah, I don't know if you should say more because of contracts and stuff. I don't want to get you in trouble. an issue. Alright, well, good luck with that. No, no, it is not Orion, because I straight up am literally never going to wear it ever. He doesn't live in the same house as me. <laughs> I'm just never gonna wear it. <laughs> Yo, Eric, what's up? You know, uh, I'm just glad my brother got me uh, anything at all. He didn't need to. Got it at like New York Comic Con, I think. But I was just like, oh. Get things started. This is from uh, last year. Figure this was the most appropriate one to start with. Oh, this is cool. I see how they did this. Okay, so that was like camera trickery, I suppose? So yeah, we got a bunch of different hacks. Um, I might show off Jiggy's a time I've already streamed it in full. 
I have a save file so we could just like browse it really quick. Yeah, Lilac, I figured this is the most appropriate way to start, was uh, doing the- I think it's called the Night Bear Before Christmas. Oh, they got the banjo because we stay at home. That's so dated, that's not even what it's called anymore. It's called Nostalgia 64. The Bear Waker. I might have that one ready to go. I'm a Jorah's Mask when I briefly showed that one off. Wish you the time. I think that's an official uh, Christmas card from Banjo Tooie. From Kirko Mods. Pretty cool. I think this is even official too. Oh yeah, that's official. You can see the uh, the Viva Pinata characters. Yeah, Healing Mind, if you've never seen a Kirko Mods hack, uh, they're really good at that. What is Christmas? I don't know, man. You asked the wrong guy. Oh my god, it's tipped up. Tip top. You need your own game. And you must not have been around then uh, over a year ago when I did the uh, the Jiggies of Time hack, because that was like a full hack. A gift, say? I mean, I don't really care, I usually just tank the hits. Oh, they actually aren't even programmed to move. Caution, uh, es... E... Caution, esplos... Uh, uh, well, I guess we can't read that. I have no idea what that could have said. Hey, oh, Turbo. Yeah, I was talking about that when we did Diddy Kong Racing. Um, everything in Diddy Kong Racing was meant to be like a expanded universe of sorts, kind of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, uh, the idea was going to be that you, uh, you basically, what's the best way to put it? You get to know the characters in Diddy Kong Racing and they would all get their own game. I've mentioned it a lot recently, but I'll, I'll, I'll go over it again. So, uh, you know, obviously Diddy already had a game. Uh, Banjo got a game. Anker got a couple games. Banjo got a few games, but I mean, like, you know, Conker, he got, like, two games. Uh, Timber had a game, but it got cancelled. Timber also originally was, like, the lead of Diddy Kong Racing, and that got cancelled. Uh, cause they were like, well, no one knows who Timber is, so let's, uh, let's make it a Diddy Kong game. And Rare was apparently pretty hesitant at first. I am an invulnerability. Why didn't you say that for the first one? I grant. Yo, 
Interesting. Hi, Lonely. What's up? I can't believe, Lonely, you really looked up Mexican Hanukkah recipes. I, I'm pretty sure, from what I looked at, all of them sounded uh, awful. Yeah, I, I saw. I had to start the stream, so I didn't say anything, but that is... That was the thing. But, uh, yeah, no, so, uh, Timber, now that, now that, uh, Mumbo's done, uh, he was supposed to get his own game, that became, uh, Dinosaur Planet, which also was going to have a different character in it, it was gonna have, uh, Saber? I think his name was? But it didn't matter, because, uh, that ended up becoming Star Fox anyway, so... I, I, we don't really know, we speculated what some of the other games might have been, but... You, know, you can only guess so much. Girls are pretty good. They were like fish cakes and stuff like that. I don't I don't really do seafood. I like that uh, they they basically completely changed the hub though. It's a really detail. Yeah, I I just don't like any seafood. The seafood and me just don't mix. I don't know. I just don't like seafood. Oh my god, it's the Ginginator. What are you doing here? I guess you can't talk to the Ginginator? That's so sad. How could someone make the Ginginator upset? No, it's the Ginginator. Kind of wanting catfish nuggies? Ugh. Disgusting. Like I said, I just I just don't do beef. Hey, Valgermander, what's up? He said that he didn't get to be in Tui. Yeah, you know, I never really thought about that, even when we streamed Tui a few months back. That he's he's just not in that game. They just remove him for King uh Jingling, which he's pretty good. I do like King Jingling. Interesting. I see they moved before moving again <laughs> in Banjo Tooie. I think, I think this is actually the same Mumbo token. I think it's in the same spot. People have to move. Yeah, but they have igloos! They gotta rebuild! Every time! I don't know how they got a green igloo, though, in, uh, in Banjo Tooie, because that's the thing. What timeline would this be since Grunty isn't dead or robotic? Don't worry about it too much, it's a hack. Uh, I would say it, it, uh, sometime around. Before the, the first game is over, it becomes Christmas. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta go to, uh, we gotta go to Mumbo. 
Irradiated snow. How you doing, Leo? Once again, I hope everyone is doing well. I know some people are saying that uh, you know it's been it's been rough today or the week. Go with the shaman. The bear is a bee. Up to the tower, he can fly free. Who looks at a 3D platform and says, hmm, needs more ice? Listen, Jake. How you doing? Also, very funny. <laughs> Breakable. Yo, yo, go, go, go. But no, 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 come back! Fuck! Oh, why would you program it like that? Yo, Gnosis. I just got scammed. Very hard. I'm pretty upset about that, rightfully. Let's try that again. What kind of ROM hack is this? Uh, I figured it made sense to start off with a uh, appropriately themed Christmas ROM hack. This is the Night Bear Before Christmas, I believe is the name of it. Because there is stuff over here normally when you play in uh, Tui, so that's why I wanted to see. So. Apparently, at some point, you can break shit open. Cool to see you can fly up here. I don't even think you can fly up here in uh, some of the other games. Does Grunty want to steal Christmas? Grunty absolutely hates Christmas. All right, now to do a dumb. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed that worked as well as it did. Break you? Does that work? That was for you. I, I fell to my death, just for you. After such a perfect landing. I thought you were doing a speed run of a hack I've never played? No. How you doing though, Keith? Sophie. Why oh, your blind speedruns a thing? Man, fucking I don't know. I don't like blind speedruns. How you doing, Dr. Pepper? Uh, I don't know uh, if Scoot has seen it yet, but I, uh, I've been watching season three, finally, of uh, Doom Patrol. Uh, I love the comics, but also uh, the show is great. Brendan Fraser does a fantastic job in it. He just hates everything. I see they used basically the inside from Tui. Oh, so that's how that broke. Because that's broken uh, when you play uh, Tui. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Ripping pizza.
You may have already noticed the music. You might know what this is. Very funny, Dr. Pepper. I also saw that episode of uh, Best of the Worst, or not Best of the Worst, it was uh, Review, I think is what it was that uh, Red Letter Media did. Yeah, Doom Patrol's great, though, if you've never, uh, seen it. Uh, I love Scoot's alert. Yeah, it's in, uh, Red Letter Media did it, where they're like, Oh, I've already- Dune's already out! You know, there's- there's Doom Patrol, starring Brendan Fraser, and they list all the other things that kind of sound like Doom. Or Dune. I think that's what's happening, but yes, this is a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, theme tag. Remember that Dune movie with The Rock? I do. Crazy to think that uh, when it comes to Dune, uh, that movie being so well received, I say that jokingly because it was not received well at all, set, uh, forgetting his name. I set, set that director on like the path to make, uh, yeah, David Lynch. David Lynch, uh, it was so bad that, uh, you know, it set him on to the path to create, like, everything that he does. Which is crazy. All the weird shit. Yo, Uncle Red, what's up? Yeah, uh, Lynch. Lynch is a great director. Uh, his movies are fucking crazy. Can you build drill? This is Banjo Kazooie, so no. There's no such thing as two your ROM hacks. They don't exist. I like how these enemies are actually called Numb School. Too much to handle. No, it's just impossible. No, it's it's Banjo Tooie. It's not Banjo Kazooie. There's no way to program new moves. As far as you can do, uh, the most is you can you can do what we're looking at today. Just Kazooie. Then prepare to be disappointed, Sophie. So, Steam Moon, what's up? Oh, this is Mumbo's. Is it the Halloween Town music? It is. It is. It makes sense. It is Halloween Town. Is is Halloween Town? Well, well, I guess uh, Nightmare Before Christmas specifically. Is it technically considered? Fuck. Is it considered a proper nightmare? Like like Disney? 
Or is it Tim Burton? Because I always assumed it was Tim Burton. Honestly, this, this fits the sound font pretty well. Uh, camera's a, a bit, a pretty bad in this, but, you know, other than that. Oh, okay. Well, goodbye forever. He's not supposed to do that. Go, Water Slinger. This is in the first four Kingdom Hearts game. Well, uh, yes, but, I mean, it's still... I think it's technically not Disney. Also, Kirby Wolf is here. You're welcome. Meant to be Disney, but execs chickened out and distributed under the Touchstone Pictures label. What fucking cowards. Considering, well, you know how successful that movie was and how loved it is. They thought that movie wasn't going to be good. People still love that movie. There's, like, sequels to that movie, too, that aren't even, like, movies. They're, they're just, like, games. There's, like, a DMC Nightmare Before Christmas uh, sequel. If they're not so popular, Disney reclaimed it. Gotcha, gotcha. People thought Star Wars would fail. Wasn't Star Wars made on a bet? It was made, like, I think pretty cheaply at the time. I forget. That was Star Trek? Yo, Star Trek rules. They just didn't want it to be on brand. Okay, that clears up a lot of stuff. Oh. I am gonna die to fall damage. I, I never knew that. Um, this is like one of the only Christmas movies I have actually seen. Really? Fucking come on. That's a tough jump. I don't remember the Halloween 10. Do you mean the, the DCOMs? Are we talking about them DCOMs? No, DCOMs rule. You don't know what a DCOM is, that's a that's a Disney Channel original movie. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Okay, alright. That is a classic. What about Die Hard? Oh, you know what they say about old habits. Also, Flarg, uh, PlayStation Doom, the second half of it was incredible. Would you have believed me if I said there was a full Doom level in that? Where, uh, you have to go into a nightclub exclusively with Revenants dancing uh, on, like, a floor and raving? Yo, Kefka, okay, thanks for the sub. Grunty? Yeah, oh yeah, she's here. Insert three jiggies. Hmm. Yo, PS1 Doom is like my favorite new way to replay Doom. Is it as good as uh, actual Doom? No, but I think it's really cool for what it was. Something I can grab onto. No, that's a windmill. Okay. See, so if you're just getting here, 
Uh, the night is all about uh, different ROM hacks. We're just checking out a bunch of different uh, Banjo ROM hacks I've either wanted to check out, but they're too short, or I figured it would just make more sense to do them in a night like this. Why does this have music from uh, Nightmare for Christmas? Oh, Shrum, this is one of your favorite games, that's why. When's PS1 Final Doom? Uh, I actually plan on doing it. I don't know if I want to stream it, though. How are you doing, Shrum? My gift to you are three hints. Yes, uh, tonight is the last night of Hanukkah, so I chose to play a Christmas, uh, hack. A little drain at the bottom of the pond? I think I already did that. Air Razor, what's up? Drum, do you even like Banjo? Actually hit uh, 100,000 today uh, on Retro Achievements. Surprised it happened this year, but you know, it happened. That's a lot of points. Nightmare Before Banjo? I think it's the Night Bear Before Banjo, or Christmas, something like that. Oh. This is a five jiggy hack. Oh. It's one of them. You don't like banjo games. Do you like the instrument, at least? Sure, why not? Yeah, Alright, then yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's fine. We can, we can all get along with that. Yeah, I, I love checking out hacks, personally. Uh, some hacks are really good, some hacks are really bad. There's probably gonna be some of both in here. I don't know, that's part of the fun, is uh, figuring it out. Will there ever be a hack as good as Mario 3 Mix? Probably not, but, I mean, like a dream. Man, Mario 3 Remix is like, what like every hack should try and be. Find some more easy. Why do we need a day dedicated to boxing? I mean, it's not even that great of a sport. Ah, I see, okay. You have to go down there as the pumpkin. Black College is more likely to get into Kingdom Hearts now than Tarzan. Yo, did you ever see the lost footage from uh, Black Cauldron where people violently melt away? It's like they cut it out because it was too graphic. It's a reverse Black Friday. Bastard. I don't want to pay more. That's disgusting. Oh, you can go in there too. Shrub, if by some miracle, uh, I go through every hack tonight, maybe we'll do Zelda 2. Promised it would be whenever you're around. I don't know why I come here for this. <laughs> Listen! I like the game! It's a good game!
Also, if you don't know Shrum, uh, you should definitely go follow Shrum. Always puts on a fantastic show. Oh, okay, this is really cool. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. What a great shot. You know what I want for Hanukkah? You stop lying. Hanukkah's already over, dude. Lit the candles are lit, man. You missed your chance. Maybe next year. You could tell it was spliced up. Yeah, um, the fact that they cut out all the graphic stuff makes the soundtrack skip a little bit. You wouldn't know that unless you do that. Yo, Kalili, what's up? Another year of lies. Uh, totally. Woot. Good to see you. Yo, Rondorks, what's up? Yeah, no, uh, I admit when a, when a hack does really good work, this is a one level hack, so I figured this was a perfect starting uh, hack. Uh, there's a couple hacks that I think I want to quickly demo and just show off how cool they are, but uh, they might be a little too big for the stream. Can you play multi if everyone has the file? Multi worlds? No, not for this. You went to Del Taco. You know, they don't have Del Taco here. I saw them when I was in California, and I've always wanted to try them. I only would not let me go to Del Taco, because he wants me to eat good food. Oh man, you got a phone number and tacos? I usually get one or the other. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Del Taco roughly translates to the taco. Yo, Joel Lord, what's up? <laughs> of the taco. <laughs> I'll treat you to all the Del Taco. Didn't you say, weren't you the one who was like, I love Del Taco, it got me through college. And now you're saying that you don't like Del Taco? What happened? Dude, she met me. Ramen got me through college. Dude, ramen got me through life. Like, I, I still live off ramen cheaply. It's just how I live. I'm like Nicolas Cage. I'm just like, oh, just let me live my life. Four ramen for a dollar. Dude, the ramen deals are just too good. You get a cup of that for like 50 cents. It's crazy. Like, how is that allowed? Well, I don't know if it's the same thing because LPs are more in entertainment and, you know, it's really feel good. But I was, I was talking about food, but yeah. I get what you mean. Ramen fucks with your stomach. That's because you're eating the cheap stuff. Not that, uh, you know. There's something wrong with eating the cheap stuff. You're, you're meant to be eating something extremely cheap and terrible, so you get extremely cheap and terrible quality. I had some stuff that fucked up my stomach recently. Uh, what was it? It was that burger, uh, if you remember. The burger destroyed me. Come on, let's beat. How are you doing, beat?
diet sodas are dangerous. Yeah, diet sodas are worse than regular sodas. Now, that's not to say don't drink diet soda. I mean, there's a reason for it to exist. It's just the sweeteners are really bad, so I don't recommend it. I mean, realistically, you're probably just better off not drinking any soda. I say, drinking a soda. What is the best 3D platformer not named Mario? Balan Wonderland is not the best one, but you thought it was. Because you thought I was going to say that. That's That was never going to be the answer. Game on you. Uh, tough question. I really like Banjo. Uh, and Time is pretty good. You're missing three things. No, I I would never play Balan. I would have never. Fred Burger, what's up? No, I, I genuinely didn't want the game, ever. Terrible game. <laughs> Alright, now to find... Three. Yeah, but I don't want to pay for trash. That's the difference. If it, if you're paying for it, it's not trash. No one pays for trash. Wait, who pays for trash? Do you think the garbage I play, I'm actually paying for? I would pay $100 just to play uh, fucking Bubsy 1? Fuck no. Ain't happening. Only, I, I, you know, we don't care if you're quiet or not. It doesn't matter for anyone here. You talk if you want to talk. You never, that, that goes for any stream. You're not forced into talking. Where are these last three notes? There are three notes I'm missing. Gotta be loud, loud all the time. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if anyone sees three notes randomly, let me know. But I don't see these. I got everything else minus the three notes. Can't break this door. Boy, man, good to see you. gonna be where we can't use the notes anymore, so we gotta find them.
What's poppin'? Uh, not much. We're just chillin'. Playing some hacks. Figured I'd have a have a nice stream where we just check out some cool stuff. on top of there. How many have you done? Well, I start at 9 o'clock. Uh, so, judging by the fact that it has only been 52 minutes, uh, this is the first one. How many hacks do I have lined up? It depends how fast we go through them. It's Halloween, Halloween night. It's Christmas, Christmas. How you doing? Night's like, oh, finally, someone uh, is streaming something that I can watch. He's doing hacks, I'm never gonna play these. How you doing, man? Always a pleasure to see you, Knight. You can get on top of there. How do you get on top of there? I think I know how. Nate, I'm uh I'm excited though to see uh what games you've got coming up on your uh playlist. See, I love doing hacks because like no one ever knows about them and it's really cool checking them out. Sometimes there's some genuinely really good work out there. And, uh, you know, I've said uh, Knight does his uh, voting polls. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to rig it live here, but I am saying if you go to Knight's uh, channel, you could totally vote for the next game. And uh, you could vote for Goldfinger64, which is a really cool GoldenEye ROM hack for Knight to play. And uh, he would love it, because he really likes GoldenEye. And uh, I think that'd be neat. But uh, I, I have already played that years ago on stream. Mystery Box is in the lead again. Uh, it's Doki Doki Panic, right? If you don't know Knight, uh, definitely check him out. Always a great stream. So I think this is the way I have to go to get up. Like, I went over here earlier. Oh yeah, I see the notes. Well, I have no idea how to get over there. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but this seems to be the only way. Perfect, Tammy. Good to see you. I see I started with a really good one because everyone's just like, oh man. Oh, well, I guess that was all you need to do. This game was based on the movie? Uh, actually, the movie was based on the game. Maybe you should know that. What is this hack called? I'm pretty sure it's called The Night Bear Before Christmas. Oh, yo, it's Constantine's birthday? Yo, happy birthday, dude. Ever run if you can? You give a big happy birthday to Constantine. Did you win pit? Uh, 
I can't wait to get scammed. This is gonna be stupid, whatever the uh, end result is. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are, what are these extra notes? I was told five jiggies and a hundred notes. What the fuck is going on here? Take me to the kids, I'm the last one. No, you're not, that was the first one. Folk, nice. Folk's a good dude. It kicked you out of the stream randomly? Oh no! That's a shame. Seriously though, uh, you should totally uh, rig Knight's poll and make him play Goldfinger 64 if anyone has the link to it. I'm only saying that because I know it will never win. Because uh, Knight's chat unfortunately hates uh, the third dimension. I hate it. Only, thank you for gifting that sub, Constantine. And happy birthday again. What the fuck? How do we get in there? There aren't enough D's? Enough of D's what? Enough of D's nuts? How could they hate the third dimension? Okay, so they follow, uh, I, I, like, I'm just gonna be real with you. Uh, Andy does not like anything 3D, so, uh, when you watch a lot of Andy, they're like, hmm, I only like, uh, the NES. It's true, we love Andy, but, uh, ooh. Andy's gotta play the third dimension someday. We joke, but, uh, hey, there's a lot of good 3D games. I guess we can't talk to Naughty. It's just funny to me that that's even a thing. Tell me one good 3D game. Banjo, that you're literally looking at it. He's trying every game. I know! I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you and what did you do with Andy was what I was saying to him. I was like, that's not Andy. Andy would never try anything new. Uh, well, Knight, uh, you know, I, I got bored of uh, playing only Mega Man, Mario, uh, Castlevania, and Zelda. So, you, you know, I, uh, I tried a new game out, and uh, it, was, it was actually kind of fun. That's what I'll say. Oh, you got the Tier 2 sub? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, uh, I guess they only gave you a Tier 2 sub, because I didn't even notice. I never pay attention when people Tier 2 sub or Tier 3. So I was just like, oh, okay, a Tier 1. There should be a tier four. Don't look at me. Go Twitch. What? Hey, no bonking. What are you doing? Cut that out. Tier God tier. Tier God tier God tier. What 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 are these tiers? Tiers for fears? Well, 
Well, thank you for the bits. I don't think enough people do tier 2 and tier 3 for them to justify ever having a tier 4. At that point, you may as well just gift subs. Do the tier 3 and then just gift a fuck ton of subs. I feel like it's uh, that's a better choice. Maybe that's just me, though. Never underestimate how much Twitch will try and extort. Yeah. They could drop tier 2? Um, well, Knight is the channel that I see the most people tier 2, if I'm being completely honest. Knight does something great that um I kind of wish I could figure out a way to incentivize people to do it. But uh, honestly, I, I don't have a way. Uh, what Knight does is, uh, tier 2, you could suggest a game for his poll. It still has to be voted on, though. I don't have anything like that, though. Does tier 3 get a nom, too? Uh, yes, in Knight's chat. So, there is at least reason to use Tier 2 there. I mean, if anyone suggested a serious uh, suggestion here, I would consider it. Are the polar bears? Yeah, there you go again. Say it's the polar bear. Those are not polar bears. It's a turtle and a ginginator. Oh no, I skipped it by accident because I pressed something. A Sunday for each per game picked for tier twos. I don't think enough people tier two for that to even be considerable, but that's way to do it. Not a bad idea. Thank you. 164 bits. Well, thank you. 164 bits for a game on the Nintendo 64. The Zero Whoa. I hear a Jinjo go and help. Oh, you can just go behind this. That's a little sneaky. There is surprisingly more content in this than I expected for a... I guess I was lied to that it was a one-level hack by the creator, but... You know, when you say a one-level hack, I'm like, oh, okay, one-level hack? That makes sense. Yeah, one-level hack. Oh, I can totally break this open. Can I? Ah, there we go. Full speed ahead! That's for you. Oh, look at the creator putting in a flight pad right here so you can land safely. That is something I always have trouble doing is trying to land, sort of, but not really. It's one level, it's just a hub. Trying to update the list. Knight, if you let me do it, I would have it constantly up to date. I mean, look at me with John. I keep the archive up to date. Oh 
god, I'm totally gonna fall. Yeah, this stream, uh, I guess you could say it was inspired by I recently did a hack for Retro Achievements. I didn't think the hack was that great, but I wanted to show it off, and also, I didn't think it was worth doing in full on stream. I'm kind of glad I didn't, but, uh, you will see why when we get to it. That might be the next one, uh, why I didn't want to do it in full. Her to help. That's a green star. Knight, I'm so upset you didn't get all the coins, by the way, in three mix. You missed like the best part of the game. You didn't do the Paper Mario World. You didn't do any of the comments. How dare you? I can't believe this. Heartbroken. You're getting deep dish pizza. And uh, just like that, uh, Jake, you are no longer a mod here. Uh, you've betrayed my trust by getting deep dish pizza. Uh, Sick Jake, do you want to be the new Jake around here? You're gonna eat a pizza sandwich. Go for it. As long as it's not deep dish. The crazy calzone. Isn't that the thing from, uh... Oh, was it? Was that, uh... Oh, let's see. That's like a thing at, uh, Little Caesars or something. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting that you would reference the Axel weapons from Kingdom Hearts like that. They don't have New York pizza like they do in San Diego. Well, that's not New York pizza, that's San Diego pizza. You have not cried in Calzone! That is also what I say when I describe my experience at Little Caesars. Have you cried this calzone yet? The pizza eating tech? Do you mean the fold? Of course, night. What kind of New Yorker doesn't do the fold? Power windows are beak proof. There must be another way. Okay. Every star is worth hitting. Okay. Orange Jinjo touches the sky. Blue sits behind the falling water. Green Jinjo's home is the igloo. Purple's on the nape. Ape? Hopefully yellow won't stump you. You know why pizza rolls are so good, Knight? It's because they're already folded. You don't even need to do anything. They're just perfect. Stop talking about food? No. Nope. You knew this was a food lover stream. You will never fold a pizza. No, 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 no. The fold makes sense. You gotta do it. it, it real pizzerias are great. I, you know, there's a thing where... Like... You can get Domino's, but why would you ever get it here when you have so many other better options? 
Shaking my head, my head. I don't, I don't get it. Yo, Wolfman, what's up? We're checking out a bunch of uh, Banjo Kazooie ROM hacks today. Link to the Past. Hey, man, a lot of people have been playing Link to the Past lately. Oh. Oh, the archipelago. Yeah, it's multiple different game randos. Yeah, no, Jake's been trying to get me to do it. Yeah, if you don't know what the archipelago is, it's what if you could combine uh, any game with another game, and let's say I'm pl it's like it's like the combo rando. But the combo rando is like basic. We don't care about the combo rando. The combo rando is only linked to the past to Metroid. That whatever. That everyone knows about that. That's not interesting. Uh, what's interesting about uh, the archipelago is it's like any game with any game. Oh, whoops. So if you thought Multi World was good, well, this is even better. I don't know how it's possible, but uh. I have seen the list of games. Uh, Jake, if you want to share it, if you're still a mod here. I know Jake has the full list of games that are planned for the archipelago. I have never done one, uh, maybe one day. Uh, do you have the list of Archipelago games? Oh, wow, okay. I guess, uh, David has it. And it's everything. Yeah, 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 we saw your new moves already. It's insane, though, that you could do this. You could you could link to, like, link to the past to Hollow Knight as possible now. I don't think it's officially done yet, but it was a thing. Yeah, we got everything already, Banjo. If it, it already did. Oh, this is this is genius. I love when people do credits like this. That's great. All right. So that was, um, that was that hack. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100 plus. So, uh, that was made by, uh, Kirko Mods. You'll see him a bunch tonight. But, uh, let's see what else we got. James Mercury, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Do I have the one I'm thinking of? Okay, I do. Um, I wanted to do a longer one next, but let's do another one from Kirko. He makes cool hacks.
I've already done this one. What is the bottom left gif? It's from Jojo. Hey, Demon Stone Nature. We gotta find uh, Link is the goal. Zelda Banjo? Not just Zelda Bando, it's it's uh, specifically uh, Wind Waker. Did the new JoJo come out? Oh yeah, it's out. Came out on December 1st. Uh, actually, the the Wind Waker one came first. Uh, Ocarina of Time will probably show off later tonight. Uh, I already have streamed that in full, so if I anything, I'm probably for that just gonna be like, okay, so here's... Here's the hack. Uh, let's do just do a quick demo of it, and you can just play it on your own, or just go to the archive channel if you want to see more. This is just uh, Outside Island, though, in Wind Waker. Unfortunately, not all of uh, Stone Ocean is out. It's only the first uh, 12 episodes for anyone who has Netflix. They're doing it in a weird thing where they're... Uh, for the year, it is 12 episodes. Next year, starting in January, they're releasing them, I think, like, weekly or something. <laughs> now, for this one, I'm not too worried about trying to get everything, but we'll, we'll see if I can get everything. I did this one for uh, retro achievements. Pretty easy uh, badge. It was a little annoying finding all the mumbo tokens. There was one that I was just like, I got, I got like 10 mumbo tokens. Where's the last one? Let's see if there's any mail for us. Hey, there is. End walker cues are pain. Well, good luck to you. I wish everyone trying to get in to play the game. A very Endwalker uh, Christmas. I'm was best shaman. You can get the hollow honeycombs in this hack, I don't really think it matters too much, but you can. anime would exist in Roger Rabbit, why wouldn't it? This is from the same guy, it's from Kirkle Bonds. You can see there's a little uh, note there to Grand Pound the Grand there. Check your GameCube. You got the uh, Nintendo Power. It's right there. I think that's also from Nintendo Power. I never understood why Banjo attacks have like different attack strength because anyone, everyone just always uses this one attack. It just does more damage than everything else. Nintendo Power, and I think there's another Nintendo Power right there. Ha <laughs> ha 
So I believe these are a clue that you have to figure out, but I don't remember one of them. I basically tell you where stuff is. I'm gonna do my best to remember. Oh, whoa. Hold down. All the more reason to go play it yourself if I don't get everything. Uh? What do you mean, uh, knight? No, uh, they already have the, uh, the localization names, uh... Blasted Pancakes, uh, is a thing already thanks to one of the games. That's, uh, that's Limp Biscuit for you. Otherwise known as Pulse XP. Cause he keeps on rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. Oh, yo, JR, what's up? Hmm, what's that over there? The uh, preview DK Isle. Classic pancake, limp biscuit, I hate it. Too bad. It's been a thing for years. I will be very disappointed next month if it turns out they changed it. Eager Cave. Homeless waffles? Waffles are pretty good. Alright, okay, Golden, now that you're here, I know you were here earlier, but like, yo, okay, it's time. We gotta have an intervention. Now, I know you're like, oh, I love uh, sitting ducks, but you're trying to give everyone sitting ducks for the Game Boy Advance. Listen, j just admit you're addicted to sitting ducks, and, uh, you know, that's, that's the first step, is admitting you have a problem. Golden's like, ah oh, shit, you'll never take me alive. I have activated the fight or fight response. <laughs> I never denied I have a problem. Fair enough. Can't get in there yet. You didn't know DK Isle was in the Great Sea? Of course it was. Yeah, K. Rule is a Lazolfos. There's Link. I never knew what these enemies are called. I, th I think they mentioned it in the credits, but. They exist. Yeah, they changed his name and it didn't really matter and obviously they didn't really care because the anime came out after and they said that was dumb. They changed him to uh, Jean-Pierre Eiffel. To no one's surprised that was not a good name. Uh, before we go there, Robin Hood, that sounds right because the regular enemies are Robins. And they changed them to, uh, Gruntlings. <laughs> Seaman Grublin. <laughs> I'm 12. At least they didn't call them Goblins, because Seaman Goblin would have been the most rare name they could have picked. It's the one door we can't open. God, can you imagine if they actually named that Seaman Goblin? I I bet you Nintendo uh, caught them trying to name them Goblins and they had to change them to Grublins. They were like, hold on, time out, time out. You can't use that name. That's my guess, at least. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, no, Jojo always has the best localization names. Demon Goblin because Goblin Seaman would have been way too on the nose. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta ask Grant. If I ever see Grant again at a con, I've met him twice at cons, he knows who I am. Uh, I helped his son get a gift at Magfest, I think it was. I met him at Magfest and Con Bravo. But I got I gotta ask him. Yo, were these were these named Goblin Seaman and Seaman Goblin originally? And rare you know, Nintendo was like, Yo, what the fuck? He'll answer! That's the best part about Grant. Greasy Grant, they call him. So Knight, if you like this, uh, the same guy made the Ocarina of Time hack. Which, uh, is very good, and you should stream that one. I can't wait for you to do that one night, though, so you're like, whoa. Turns out, uh, Juker actually can pick good games. I mean, you, you've forgiven me for, for Umi Haro, right? Don't say anything if you forgive me, and say anything if you forgive me. Why does birds always do that? Because birds are the worst enemies in video games. Yo, Alex, what's up? How you doing, man? Showing off a bunch of banjo hacks tonight. Welcome to the second hack. You're gonna hit that? Alright, take it easy, David. Thanks for coming. Umihara still hurts. It's okay. They The Christmas hack that I sent you, that uh, apparently recently came out, uh, the final boss, I, you're never gonna fucking play it. It's, it's got Michael Jackson as the final boss. From Moonwalker. He's, he's just there and you have to avoid his dancing. Apparently it's pretty short and pretty easy, but like, you're never gonna play it. What's Michael Jackson, a final boss, in a Umihara Kawase ROM hack? If you don't know what that game is, that's probably for the best. I only know that it exists because of retro achievements. That's it. I do appreciate this hack has you getting more... Uh, notes than you need. I don't know why the some of the stuff glitches in these hacks so easily. It's the fishing platformer. Yeah, that's the game that uh, Knight really likes a lot. So much so that uh, he wanted it to be done immediately. It's a Grublin. Forget where it is. There's they, they, there was a picture earlier that wanted me to do this. I'd rather go through an adventure island for 83 days again than play that. Okay, so Knight, I recently played Bubsy. Can I interest you in playing Bubsy 1 on stream? <laughs> and uh, just like that, you know, I was gonna forgive him, but now he's banned since he suggested Bubsy. Look, if I can beat Bubsy in one night, I think you could beat Bubsy. Honestly, Bubsy 1 is an okay game. It's not bad. It's not the worst game. You could do a lot worse than Bubsy 1. There we go. Yo, Tar6, what's up? We're checking out a bunch of hacks tonight. Hope you're doing well. Are you enjoying uh, PlayStation Doom? 
Yeah, we're doing every uh, Bubsy game this month uh, of the old ones. The one, two, three, and Jaguar. Uh, I will let you know, Knight, they're all awful in advance. But I had fun playing Bubsy the other night. Um, honestly, all things considered, it was, uh, it was a fun night. It was fun going through it. If if I could beat it in in a day, the night night could beat it in a day. It would just be a very painful stream for him, and then he'd be like, "Okay." What console is it? Bubsy? Super Nintendo. Does Equinox have retro achievements? Uh, it does. I will never do it. Is Sleepwinox is too boring for me to do, Knight. You know the answer to that is no. I mean, I, Equinox was just so slow and boring. The only time I would pay attention when I had that on in the background was <laughs> whenever the boss music would kick in. I was like, oh, hey, the game got good. Not playing any games since I spend the month putting together papercraft and Lego. Ooh, anything interesting? Oh yeah, the the boss music in Equinox is great because it's Tim Folin. But yeah, it's it's just the plot music. <laughs> Star Wars and the 89 Batmobile. Nice. I have a Lego set I never put together from when I was working at the movie theater of uh, the Lego Batman Lego Batmobile. I know that's redundant to say, shut up. <laughs> it's, what it's, it's what it is. It's from the Lego Batman movie. Tim Folin. Yup, the Puznik man himself. Everyone raise your Puznicks. Classic meme right there. Now, Knight, I could never convince you to play Puznik because, uh, I mean, it's got Puzzle in the name, so. Is that, is that, is that Puznik? Hold on. We, we gotta, we gotta put on some Puznik. Okay, well that was Puznik. Uh, Puznik rules. I missed the jiggle? No, I didn't. Nope. You sure? A Solstice is a game where, uh, you know, whatever. I don't even care if I miss anything, honestly, uh, Uncle Red. I've already badged this game for retro achievements. 
Uh, you trust me when I say it does not matter if I get all the notes or not. I'm not trying to. Oh no, one jiggy. Solstice is a video game. Solstice was at least interesting to watch night because uh, there was no combat. Uh, well, I, I guess there kind of was combat, I think. But it was fast enough of a game where you died and the game was over and then you could restart and it made the game interesting to watch. I, I just don't have like anything good to say about uh, Sleep One Ox. The fact that I even need to call it Sleep One Ox really says everything though. You like Equinox? I'm sure Equinox is a fine game. We're not saying Equinox is a bad game, we're saying that it is a very boring game to watch someone stream. It was so boring that nothing was happening and the entire chat hated it. <laughs> Everyone pretty much said the same thing. Oh, I, you know, I really like uh, the game. Ooh. Oh. It was like 12 days of Equinox. The, that's the thing that people don't get, Knight, about uh, Adventure Island, was Adventure Island was fun, you know, you gained a little bit of progress every day. Uh, yes, this is a Wind Waker mod. We're checking out a bunch of different banjo rom hacks tonight. Just in the mood to play some banjo hacks. Maybe it's because I sent someone a bunch of ba uh, banjo rom hacks. Maybe it's because I recently did a banjo rom hack for Retro Achievements and then said screw it. Maybe it was both of those because they happen very close together. So this is a uh, Wind Waker mod, though. Uh, I think I actually... I want to go over here. Oh, no! Grab it! Grab it! Come on. There we go. Okay, we want to grab this. From what I remember about this hack. We want to go this way. don't want to fall off because uh, the developer did something kind of mean. Have you noticed? They put one of those whiplash enemies right there. so much, those whiplashes, they're awful. But yeah, um, Equinox, it's a, it's a fine game, I have nothing against the game, I just have something against. Watching it be streamed was just, it was rough. I'm sure the game is fine, it's, it's it was just not the most enjoyable stream game. Hence the name of uh, Sleep One Ox. All right, 
right, there is a cave we need to take care of. You played uh, Wind Waker? You know what's over here. Which one is Victoria 2? Is that Victoria's Secret? I keep getting her magazine. Which one is that? Right, there's like a puzzle here. Uh, I don't remember the answer. Uh, you're supposed to play the notes in a certain order is basically the thing, but... I don't remember it, just know there's a Jiggy here. We're not gonna get everything, because I forgot about this puzzle. I didn't look at the other one, it, it, just know that, that that's the thing. If you're gonna play it, you can solve it. I've done it before, I just I don't remember what it is. Lonely, does this make you want to play Banjo, or are you still going to be like, no, I hate Banjo? She hates Banjo so much. It hurts. One of my favorites. How could you do this to me? You don't hate Banjo, but... Wow, boring. I bet you like watching people play Equinox on stream. <laughs> Kidding, lonely. Unfortunately. I forgot he was in this room, and I could have done the cheese. And the cheese is that. go back there. The important thing is we already got 180 notes, that's all you need at most. I'm more so showing things off because I've already beaten this one, so not too worried about that. If this was one that I was playing for the first time, maybe I would probably be more upset, but eh. Carefully. I think he's under there. Oh, that's right. That's where he is. He's in the hole. You gotta turn into a. Uh... You gotta turn into a uh, a pumpkin. Wait, son. Do you really hate cheese? I can't believe this. Don't you know the moon is made of cheese? Haven't you seen Wallace and Gromit? You hate cheese. I just don't think you found the right cheese. The cheese is so good, though. I 
recently learned that at one point Wallace and Gromit were gonna talk, but they realized, um, like both of them were gonna talk. But then they kind of realized it didn't really make a lot of sense, so, uh... I think Wallace is the dog, or Gromit is the dog. Whatever one is the dog, they, they decided, yeah, it's better to just not make them talk. I agree. Gromit is such an expressive character that uh, they didn't need any. Is this still open or am I gonna have to reopen it? Not this, but the, uh, the picture in here. I know this will stay open. Alright, so we can open that. It seems like it's closed. No big deal. This is what happened to all the uh, the paintings after Mario 64. You can see them here. Part of that puzzle. Right there. I'm not too worried about the Jinjos. Uh, like I said, we're gonna just get what we get. Yes, it is called the Bear Waker because you are a bear and you are trying to wake Link. Uh, I guess I'll show what's under the house. Because that's like the last thing in this hack that's worth showing off. Uh, you could play it yourself if you need to. Uh, I, well, I imagine a Mojo they would have just drawn a mouth on. It's not that hard. If you come here as a pumpkin. Go here. Yeah, you need eight jiggies, and that opens uh, Link's house. But uh, I think this is a good stopping point for this one. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, that one's really good, though. I definitely recommend it. I'm just gonna show you, uh, this one is an interesting hack. This is Banjo Dreamy. I'm gonna show you the start of this hack, and then I'm gonna reload and show you, uh, the full hack. So for this hack, uh, it is notes only, which is a good thing and a bad thing, as you're about to learn. Unfortunately, you don't have any moves, which is a good thing in, in my opinion, because that means, you know, slowly you get to learn more moves, you get to platform with just this, but I don't have attacks, which is kind of annoying. But the real reason I was not a big fan of doing this ROM hack for Retro Achievements was, uh, you're about to see. When your game has zero jiggies, and you basically have to do everything by notes, uh, that means you're not gonna have all the moves to do everything on the first trip. Sucks. So you have to learn the moves over there, and all that stuff. You can, you can kind of see why I, uh, I didn't really feel like this was a hack I wanted to do on stream, but now that you've seen uh, what the basic part of the hack is, to reset and show you the complete file. That time is not accurate on it, I left it on for a while. So I've got all the moves. 
I'm gonna show off the worlds. I feel like the worlds are the interesting part of the sack. This does not look like a dreamiest, it is not. Well, it's not even called dreamiest, it's called Banjo Dreamy. I already said that. But, uh, what makes this interesting is it's got a good idea, but, man, it is not fun to go back and forth through all these things to learn every single move slowly and go back and you have to collect each note every time. And there's only 25. So, like, I'm not even getting the notes here. I just want to show stuff off. Um... Every uh, area has like a main area and then three side areas. The side areas always have five notes and the main areas always have ten. This is, uh, this is a maze. You can walk through it. Camera work in here was not very good at all. I think I would have liked this hack a lot better if maybe it was more smart about how it did things. Because there's only so much I could tolerate of collecting the same notes over and over again. Leaderboard attempt started. I'm I'm good game. I already got all the achievements for this one. Like there's there's some good stuff here. Um, don't get me wrong, but it's just it's rough when you when you want to do it like this. Cause it's a fascinating thing to have something that's only collecting notes, but it should have been collect all the notes and have it be you know the way the Xbox game does it, and like climb on top of here. There's a whole bunch of stuff up there. I actually really like a lot of the design of the levels. Yo, Salem, what's up? Have the ROM hacks been? They're good. Submitted two for damage just your visit. That's that's fine. Uh, it is over here. Is the next level. His levels actually look really pretty is the thing, which is why it upsets me that this, I feel like, wasn't the greatest hack. Like, okay, let me show you a really cool thing about this hack that uh, I really appreciate. So let's say you don't have any moves, right? And you have, uh, you only have seven notes to your name, so that's how much you need to go here. You can't do anything, so all I can do is just jump, and then I got this attack. I got this. So what, what the game wants you to do, which is interesting. Uh, you have to platform by doing this. Which actually, I thought this was really cool, you know? I was like, oh, okay. But, again, when you gotta collect the same notes over and over again, just, it's rough. Too rough for me to do in full on stream. I I at least admit the achievement set was fun. Did you end up beating Bubsy? Of course. Some of the places where they hide things in this hack are pretty mean, too. So, like, you don't get gold feathers until much later in the game, and even then they're very, like, scarce. So, you had to go through here uh, practically without it being able to kill anything. I think they wanted you to, like, try and... Well, you know. Try and come back later, but that's, that's an extra trip you don't need to do. You know, honestly, this is the best way to do this, is showing off how, uh, how the levels look is 
a better stream format, I feel like. Maybe maybe you guys don't agree, but again, you could always try that out. I, I said earlier, uh, Toad, uh, you can't do two yet. It's just not possible. It will probably not happen for a very long time. Thanks for stopping by, Uncle Red. Really appreciate it. It's one of those things that's it's just like banjo hacking already is so new that like to start doing Tui is like, you know, that's unexplored content right now. It's like unexplored. People are still learning how Kazooie works. You gotta learn to walk before you learn how to run. I think that's the best way to put it. I'd like to see Tui Raw Max though. There's a lot of really cool things that Tui does that I, you know, honestly, I've said over and over again. I, I think Tui is better. People will tell me I'm wrong, but I mean, it's an opinion. It's not wrong. I just, I, I don't know. I see stuff that other people don't. It's got really good, like, areas too. Like, I, I really liked platforming in a lot of these areas. That made you fed the problem? No. I'm just letting you know that it exists. That's up to you if you want to do it. I never specifically said you better do this. I, I said do it or, or don't. Grunty industry is kind of blue. As someone who showed how to do it right on stream, Grunty Industries is not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. I think for a first timer it's bad, but playing it again and knowing what you have to do, it is a lot easier than you would expect it to be. Uh, there's a little underwater area in this one, too. I'm basically just doing a level a tour. You can play this one if you want. I always like hearing, though, why do people prefer one game over the other, you know? I think most people say the backtracking, but my, my defense is... Uh, people always forget this. You have to backtrack a lot in Kazooie. People just don't remember it? Because, like, if you want to get certain things, you want to beat Mr. Vile, then you probably want to get the shoes, because they, they're there for a reason. You can do it without it, but you're probably going to want that. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um, certain levels are like, hey, I hope you have this move. Uh, you need the shoes as well for uh, the ice level, and there's a couple other places you got to go back and forth to open new levels. See, now, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't I don't have a problem with it. I prefer the levels in Kazooie more. I get that. I totally do. The amount of backtracking seems to be I could agree with that. Uh, the way I put it is, I think Tui, if you look at it as a Metroidvania, I think it is a better game. Which is how I came out of the stream of it that we did. If you look at it as that, it's it holds up really well. The question is, are you willing to look at it as a Metroidvania? Because it really is. Everything is connected. Uh, you learn moves, you go back, you use the new moves to find new stuff. It's it's a Metroidvania. I mean, it just wasn't advertised as that, and that's what it is. Checking something. Hmm. 
So here is the next level. Uh, there's a water level. I thought this was a pretty good water level. It's uh, like a beach level more so than it is a water level. There's the semen goblins. I get that. I totally get that part. But I like using the abilities anyway. I use those eggs. I use the drill a lot. The Moogle asks if DK64 is a Metroidvania. Um, can everyone just post dabs in the chat? That will be my answer. Also, hello, Moogle. If you want to advertise your, your stream, feel free to. As a, as a fellow New Yorker, I'm totally okay with that. Even though I don't even think they're in the chat. Moogles are friends, though. Even if they are marshmallows, and uh, they may or may not look delicious. This was paid for by Jake. Yo, Captain Joe, what's up? Moogles are emergency rations. Let's go with a look at it. So for this one, uh, you want to platform a bunch. You get up there, you get to learn a new move. This is like the last point where I feel like you really needed to go back and learn a move. Uh, Snacker is in the water, by the way, if you're curious. He's waiting for you. So you can go inside the volcano. The volcano is not hot, as you would think it is. Pretty sure you die if you fall in the lava, but I never found out, and I kind of don't want to. There's a lot of jumps like that in this hack, too. Like, very narrow walking in this. There is some pretty rude stuff. Uh, some of the stuff this hack makes you do. Uh, do you remember those snowman enemies that everyone hates from this game? The ones that you have to kill by uh, bashing into them with the feathers? Yeah, so uh, there's a part where you have to walk a very narrow strip of lanes while like three of them are throwing snowballs at you and it sucks. Like, I, I want to like this hack a lot more, but there's just so much uh, garbage. Well, I guess we're falling. Also, uh, the friction in this hack is, like, very cursed. I wanna go down here. Now you know the lava kills you for sure. Hey, it happened after I beat the game. I'm okay with that. Cursed friction. What, what is this? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, just uh, walk up the side. It's okay. How is this even possible? This is this is illegal. The oh, Hoyle Libbers. It's been quite some time since you visited old Captain Blubber. Ah, we've been busy. Why are you crying this time? Alas, or me business ventures have sunk into Davy Jones' locker. I've hit rock bottom. Arr! Yeah, it must be a hard life up there in the VIP volcano jacuzzi. What can we do? Arr, nothing, I think I'll just stay here for a while. You two can have me last five notes. 
Thanks, I guess. We'll see you later. Again, I don't really care about the notes. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Kazooie is a distant grandmother to Skyrim horses. <laughs> you know, you know what's the, the most cursed thing is how rare confirmed that Kazooie is always pregnant. You just think about that. Considering the eggs. They confirmed it, you know. That's just the thing. What? Oh, oh, you think I'm joking? No, 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 no. Uh, the people at uh, Platonic, specifically, who worked on the original games were like, Kazooie is always pregnant. They just randomly tweeted that out one day. Thanks, that's super cursed. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. They knew what they were doing, tweeted it out. Uh, Lago replaces Grunty. There's no boss fight at the end. Pregnant. The same energy about how the Kakuin egg is official. Kakuin egg is not official. made by like a real manga author though like it was like it started as a doujin but they make like some like actual manga okay once you get to this level you have enough moves where you can go back and you don't have to really backtrack ever it was made by clamp yes it's crazy this level's pretty neat i like this can go inside. Uh, you get another Christmas level. This hack really likes putting uh, snowmen in places that are just going to fuck your day up. Because again, look at this shit, you, you just gotta do tightrope walking while the fucking snowman guys are attacking you. But why do these enemies need to exist in, in like, every hacker loves using them. I hate these enemies so much. <laughs> They're the worst. I think this level had the hardest uh, damageless achievo for me to do. When is a video game snowman not evil? Usually? Isn't it usually? Like, isn't it? Video game snowmen are not like birds. Speaking of birds, I don't know why they're in this level. I really don't know why they're in this level. Other than to just be very annoyingly placed. I never like these enemies because uh, they're identical to like two other enemies in this game who do the same attack. But they, for some reason, despite being in the final level, have a cutscene when you kill them. It just feels really out of place. 
There's Snide from DK64, which I guess we learned today thanks to the Moogle, uh, is a Metroidvania. A lot of, again, these uh, tightrope walkings. Look at this room. How many fucking snowmen there are in this room? Fuck this room. There's so many snowmen. At least you can kill them in this room, but it's not even worth it. There's, there's nothing for killing them. Pretty room, though. Like, I, I don't understand the obsession with snowmen that this hack has. Yo, Lifted, what's up? We're just showing off some Banjo ROM hacks. I did this one recently for RA. Don't really recommend it, but I was the first person to master it, so I figured you need to show off the levels. Uh, you guys ready for aliens? Aliens. Down here, uh, you can see there's like a... I don't know why, there's like a UFO takeoff here? And get closer without falling down so we can just leave the level. Rick Astley, the game got a set. Uh, it did, but then also it didn't. They demoted it already. Also, I have no idea why there are, there are mummy hands in this level. Uh, they're weird. be faster if I kill myself to get out of this level. It's back up, is it? Man, the RA devs are being butts. I, I, lately when I'm doing manual unlocks, they haven't needed to do this in the past. Lately they're like, your request is denied because you didn't provide the hash that, uh, normal people do not understand how to get. Which includes me. And I'm like, what? How the fuck am I supposed to get the hash? I don't fucking know. Even my damn manual unlocks. You know how hard it is for me to get a hash? Fucking, when the fuck has this been a thing? There's a reason that it says, I don't know. Let's do the Chivos. Motherfucker, Pulse, I already got the full set badge for this. This is the hack I sent you. And you didn't even play it. He demanded I give this to him while at a Taco Bell. He was like, you better fucking do that. And I was like, alright, fine, jeez. I got home, I sent him the ROM, he hasn't even played the ROM, hasn't even loaded it up. I did not. Disgusting. You lawyer? I'll have you know my brother is actually a lawyer. So, so yes, there is lawyer blood in me. I'm just doing a showcase of the levels. Bunch of tough guys hanging out in Discord to play in the attack on the check mark. Wow! Thanks for uh, calling out this rude behavior, Andrew. Andrew, be thy good name, because Andrew is a great name. Unlike uh, what Pulse would tell you in his stream. Well, no, we're not. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's check Discord. Pulse, Sark, Lifted, Schmelly, Throg in one voice call. Nice try. <laughs> Hello, everyone in that call. What a fucking liar. <laughs> I dig the space theming for this level. I think the space theme is really cool. This is uh, based on Biodome with Pauly Shore. You can tell because it is one of the greatest movies of all time.
Pulse is a bitch. Uh, yes, you are. Uh, there is a way to get inside this. It might be a different area. Uh, you can glitch into this level as the bee. There it is. Uh, you can get in here as the bee. I watched the speedrun to uh, figure out how to get through the set easier. And this, I couldn't do it, but the speedrun uh, gets in here as the bee. To get to climb this, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Pulse, when is the attack? Pulse attacks me all the time. The guy hates anyone with a check mark next to their name. You know, I went into a chat today and I raided and I, you know, I had the check mark next to my name and they were like, oh god. We're, we're talking about Mogmellas? Apparently we were. So so I go into the stream and they're they're like so nice to me just because of the check mark. Unlike Pulse, who's like, oh gross, check marks. Disgusting. I should just add the, the yes you are. It will not make any sense to anyone, but uh... I don't know how you're actually supposed to do this, but this is how I did this. And that alien from uh, Banjo Tui is dead. I don't, I don't care about the leaderboard. I already finished this game. We were talking about Mog Malus earlier. Yo, Alita, what's up? I recommend uh, checking out some of these hacks. They're really cool. Already went here. Like, I, I genuinely like the level design. I think there's great level design here. I just am not a fan of all the get 25 notes, and if you don't have the moves, fuck you. You are a very nice person that does not uh, show anything but banning people. Mm, that is true. That is true. He does ban everyone. I'm not allowed to talk to this chat anymore. He banned me uh, last night while he was playing... Uh, Saturn of the night, he was just like, you know what? Fuck this uh, check mark. Getting it out of my chat. So mean. Your own mod timed you out. Yeah, and they time me out everywhere. I bet you, uh, everyone here would time me out, given the option. Except for JR, and Lifted, and Throg, and Sark. And Juan especially has banned me. But we can't do joke bans anymore on Twitch. Uh, that's not allowed. Traz would never ban me. Uh, you know, you can't time out or ban other uh, partners. It's just impossible. If people say you can, I've never seen it happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't. You know, I'm in the, the partner Discord that exists for uh, Twitch. That's, let me tell you something. It says there, uh, number one rule, no banning other partners or uh, timeouts. Pulse doesn't believe me, but that's that's the case. Just uh, not a thing that happens. So one good thing I like about this hack is if you fall off the map, you usually don't die. It's totally okay for you to do that. Moonbreak dance time. There's always time for Ganon. So this is really nice of the game. Uh, it says, shuttle arrives every 15 minutes. Or 15 seconds. <laughs> I don't know why there's a carpet in space, uh, Pulse, maybe you would know if you played the fucking hack I sent you, but, uh, until then, we don't know. 
más que en mi boca cabe dame un beso despacito dame un beso suave suave yes besame, yes it was yo quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez suavemente ese codo besame es la cosa que yo quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez tus labios tiene suave ese secreto suave yo beso y beso suave moon break dance time Where are we going, you may wonder. Uh, there's, a, there's a place we're going. The asteroid area isn't very interesting. I'll probably die when we get there, but it's it's worth showing off. Uh, there's an achievement here. It's pretty easy to get, but it was broken, so I had to do it like five times. Uh, you have to grab the three lives here. Uh, there's one right there, one right there, one right there without falling off. As the first person to do this hack, it was, it was broken. I had to do it a lot. Five times is a lot. You do it five times, you die. You do it a hundred times, you die. Go cold turkey, you die. Only way to get rid of it? Complete and total blood transfusion. So this is the inside of the sun. It's full of Dorians. And aliens. I never fell in the lava here, so that'll be, that'll be fun to check out. Hey, you die. Yeah, no, there are good things in this hack. It's it's just the notes are really what killed this for me. Uh, sir, that's a death warp. I've already beaten this hack. You, that doesn't work on me. You can't just uh, full sex death on me. It doesn't work. Extra crispy, extra greasy, whatever it is. I always thought, I wasn't really sure, it looks like the eyes on this mumbo are moving, but it might just be illusion. So here is the thing that I don't like about this game uh, that is not related to the notes. So you turn into a bee. You may be wondering, okay, well, uh, that's normal. Turn into a bee. So to get into one of the levels, you have to turn into a bee. And this is a really cool level, but I don't like how precise you have to be to get in. It's probably gonna take me a little bit to get in. You notice that right there? What you have to do... You have to awkwardly uh, fly in here. You have to do that a few times and with this bee. I actually got a first try. And then you gotta get in here. And you gotta do it again a couple other times in this level. It's it's rough. How precise you have to be? Wow. So this level does something interesting, because I don't I've never seen a banjo level where you have to start as a transformation. And uh, essentially what you have to do is uh, there's a mumbo hut right there. It is surprisingly annoying to control this bee, Andrew. Like, any anyone who's played this game knows the bee does not control super well. You can see what I mean here, where it's like, oh, I gotta get in the hole. Oh, oh, you missed it. Oh, well, okay, the bee turns really weird. Nope, missed it again. So, uh, three of these areas, if you didn't notice the theme of this level, this is uh, Memory Lane, I think is what this level is. It's like reimaginings of the levels you played earlier, which I think is really cool. I think that's a great idea. So if I could get in this goddamn fucking beehive, fuck. Okay, that works. That's why there was a ledge in the beehive. Yeah, uh, this is the wrong hack though, so that doesn't matter. So there's, uh, inside the beehives, in these three areas that have beehives, they're just other versions of, uh, areas with, like, bits of them in different ways. You might have seen these pools earlier, there were three pools, now there's three pools full of honey. 
pretty neat. Uh, what I don't like about this, though, is to even grab the things, you have to... You have to, like, land there and, like, bait the mines in. It's a little weird. Uh, this is Pulse trying to tell me that he's banned, but then uh, he can't do anything, so he's just... Yeah, you know, he's just like, you're fucking banned, and then he, that's it, that's all he does. Can't do anything else. No action. Disgusting. That's all you know, it is. You know, you know Mega Man, you know Castlevania, you know Zelda, you know Mario. Those are the four things in life. See, there's another beehive over here. I won't get to go into all them. One of them, one of them is the space world. Is you have to go in by being a bee, but you gotta turn back and then turn back again. At least you can get things into a hole without this much struggle. A. I can't believe that, but uh, he's got three things of proof for that. The other thing with the bee is you can't really defend yourself, and I didn't really have a problem with this with the bee, but I could see how that could be annoying. Also, it is surprisingly hard to see where the exit is here, because it just blends in with the background. Right here. I only know that because I got lost here a couple times. Traz might ban you from Australia from uh, defending Pulse. Why would Traz defend himself? Isn't that his name, right? It's Pulse. This is this is just his alt American account. Flip that. Send it to Traz. I'm gonna get really pissed off. You can't be the B for this area. So this is one of the rudest areas in the game, in my opinion. This is like, uh, Rude 30 is what I would uh, consider this one. You don't even like Traz? That's true. What ROM heck is this? This is Banjo Dreamy. Uh, this is on, um, it's on Retro Achievements. You can see what I mean here. There's more fucking snowmen and they just keep throwing snowballs at you. And you gotta platform through all this garbage. There's no flight pad until you get to the very top of the mountain. Yo, Jace Book, what's up? I had to do this climb a lot. The climb itself isn't bad so much as trying to get one of the achievements for not getting hit in this level. Uh, with these snowmen is fucking terrible. You get the ability to smash into them after all this time. I really do like the idea though of like remixing old levels you've already done in a new way though. A banjo rom hacks are surprisingly well done. So here is the bullshit that I was talking about earlier that you might have heard me mention where you gotta like walk a narrow path. This this is just awful. I mean look at this. Look at this bullshit! Fuck this! I 
I'm pretty sure I fell off more on my own than I did from the snowman hitting me. It is terrible. That is like one of the worst parts of this hack. Glad I already beat this, so I don't really care if I fall. With a snowman? There's more than one snowman. There, There's like two up there. Two or three snowmen are aiming at you. Let's fall off. Uh, you don't really need to see the uh, other two areas for this level. I'm just kind of going quick with this hack. Yo, Mr. Fucking Neve, if you believe, what is up? How are you doing? You're checking out some Banjo ROM hacks. I'm just uh, showing off levels. Figure it's the best way to do it with this hack. Thank you so much for the raid, man. What are you? Uh, what are you up to? Oh no, all of my mods are at conventions, apparently. <laughs> Here we go. What uh, Castlevania, Mega Man, Mario, or Zelda were you playing? That's what Traz would have wanted me to say, so... Yeah, you know, it feels, uh, it feels right to say that. Oh, more DKC too, nice. Finally badge this. You did the speedrun Chivos. Dude, I, I'm in the same boat as you. Uh, recently badging PS1 Doom for retro achievements. I will tell you, I absolutely hated doing the speedruns for Doom 1 and 2. And you at least get the buffer in DKC2 of being able to uh, pause the game and like save it. You can't do that in Doom. You gotta do the full uh, run of Doom. If you die in Doom, you're probably fucked. Because you can't use passwords. I get why, but also no. Yeah, I don't. I don't approve of speedruns in uh, Chivo sets. Luckily, there were none in this hack. I appreciate though that the hack at least tells you where uh, you need to go to not be a bee. Instead of just having to go back. Thanks to them. This is the wrong way. Speedruns should be in the bonus sets. Um, I'm gonna go farther and say that I think speedruns should be in a speedrun set rather than a bonus set because I might be down to, to do a bonus set, but I don't know if I would want to do a speedrun anyway. I get what you're saying though. Um, I just don't like speedruns at all. There are bonus sets that I look at, though, and I'm like, ooh. I would be willing to do this. Yeah, no, like, I only did the speedruns for Doom because they were the last two achievements. This is where we want to go. If you go through here, you see there's another B sign. This is actually uh, a level, but it's really clever how they do it. This is actually two levels uh, that make up one level. Nightfall Fortress. And I think it's Daytime Fortress or Village. Daybreak Barracks. Or do you RA? I'd rather the speedruns be their own set. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff. Like, Neve, I was complaining before you got here about uh, two manual requests got denied because I didn't put hashes, and I was like, who the fuck cares? Fucking. I don't know how to get hashes. They just. Fucking. Look, they said they would give it to me. It was just like, well, you don't have the hash. I'm like, does it matter? I just have the, the stuff? There, why is there an option that says I don't know the hash if if I need the hash? Because that's like the second time that I've needed to do that. It just should not be there. They should be slapped all day. They should. I kind of wish these were the same level, but like a day version and a night version, but that's unfortunately not what they do here. 
Uh, it's still a pretty neat level, though. You get to explore this castle. It's pretty interesting. I like how they do it. You gotta go and, and turn into the pumpkin here to get into these uh, tiny holes. I have no clue why these enemies are here. They're pretty out of place. Points for the biggest waste? You'll never get them. Once I know someone's about to get it, I should just increase it so no one can get it by another million. You'll have to never tell me you're getting close to it. Unfortunately though, I feel like these two levels are not nearly as interesting as some of the earlier levels. But at least by this point in the game, uh, you have pretty much every move. Do you know when you get the final move? I'll tell you. It's in the next level. It's in the night version. If you want to be able to use the, uh, the gold feathers, which honestly, you don't really need them for anything. It definitely helps, but I mean, the way I did it, I, I didn't need it. That is an option. Tiny waste? No tiny waste. And this is this isn't even like the final level. This is this is just a regular level. We have a lot of eggs to be thrown around. This level is pretty neat though. I do like the uh, the gimmick of this one being climb the big castle, get to the top. You get some pretty neat views. It'll be easiest if I can get up to the top this way. I love Banjo though. I'm, I'm glad that hacking is a thing and hacking is slowly getting to the point where it's really cool. There's definitely some really neat hacks out there, but you know, people are still learning. This is still new technology. Uh, this level has a lot of ghosts. Which is pretty much the only reason why you would need these gold feathers. But the problem is, uh, ghosts are in the first level, so like you can't even deal with the ghosts until you get to the final level of the game. I guess they're easy enough to avoid, but still. Is this a ghost version of Mr. Pulse? Pulse is too scared to do this hack. Yeah, Neve, uh, I, I told the story before he got here. Pulse demanded I give him this hack while I was at Taco Bell drive through and he bullied me. He was like, I'm going to ban you if you don't give me this hack, and uh, I had to give it to him. But, uh, it, I mean, it was so rude that he just, you know, he bullied someone try just trying to get dinner. He's also too scared of the Smurfs. Uh, hey, I've played the Smurfs game for the Game Boy. I, I know it's bad. I know it's rough. Would I badge it? No. I, I had it as a kid. I know it's too rude. Bullied by the Grease. Correct. Oh, the Mega Drive version? Oh, gotcha. I don't think I ever played that one. I just know uh, the Genesis one is uh, pretty mean. But I take it it's just like a Smurfs thing. It's just all Smurfs games are, are bad. I mean, the Game Boy game has to be the best one. And the reason I say that is... I don't think the Genesis one has been bootlegged ever, but I know the, the Game Boy one is. If you didn't like the Smurfs and you wanted to play it, but worse, uh, there's a Pikachu Smurfs hack for some reason it's that's what the bootleg is I'm trying to remember how to get up so there's a way they want you to climb this I'm just I think it's that way no, no it wasn't.
Shrek at least had some good games. After doing a month of just Shrek games, I can safely tell you, no. <laughs> Not a single one was good. many ghosts here. So this is a neat obstacle. Um, there is a note in the center, considering you have to just get notes. Even the fighting game, especially the fighting game. The game is not nearly as good as people make it out to be. I like how I baited people, like, two different times by playing that game. The GBA version and then the DS version, and both times. Uh, people were very mad. It's a really good view, though. I, I really like being up here. Alright, time for a death warp. Don't worry about stop and swapping any ROM hack. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I guess that works. I mean, you don't even die when you fall most of the time in this game, which is good. So, if you go here. Uh, if the game doesn't want to crash? Oh god, what's happening? Okay, there we go. They make it here. There's some lampposts, which I feel like is a really nice touch. Uh, Lago has replaced uh, Grunty. I will at least say this, the reason for Grunty being replaced, who Cunty? Oh yeah, no. You know, it's surprising that I have not called her that once tonight. I usually do. I think it's way funnier though, uh, Andrew, that her, her actual name, her full name is Gruntilda Winky Bunyan, which... I mean, if, if you know British slang, Winky is just penis, so, you know. Gruntilda Penis Bunyan is her full name. Good old penis bunion. I'm so happy that Rare admits to doing these things that it is actually real. Can rest now. Alright, take it easy, Neve. Thanks for stopping by. If you have all the notes in the game, you can beat the game. Are you going here? The final level is uh, basically this. They give you uh, a little interactive credits in a different way than the other hack. Based on the themes by Great Kirko. Game mechanics by Rare. I at least like the credits for this. Um, I just wish, again, that... Maybe the best way to do a hack is not by spamming snowballs ever and having the the notes. Maybe other people feel differently though that uh, the notes is uh, you know kind of rude. Now, what's interesting about this hack though that I have not mentioned is this is the first proper full banjo rom hack in terms of like you know a full set of worlds and everything. Yes, this is a this is a full hack. Came out in 2018, so that's really when hacking started to become a thing. 
wasn't the first actual one. I don't think the first actual one is still up. Uh, it was like a Christmas ROM hack. Oh no, he doesn't talk to you like he, he does the first time. That's a shame. Uh, he talks to you. Basically, the plot of this game is that he took over uh, from Gruntilda because he got Gruntilda's magic. Uh, it turns out Gruntilda has magic dumps and uh, Lago took in so many magic dumps that uh, Lago just had all of the, the magic power. Yo, Gino, what's up? You came in at the best time uh, talking about dumps. How you doing, man? Gino was another fantastic streamer you can go follow. Uh, that is it, though, for this hack, so let's try out uh, another one. Not sure if I recommend this one. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary on that one if it's note-based, but... It's interesting. It's, it's worth showing off. Magic dumps. You know, everyone takes a magic dump every once in a while. Usually, you know, some people, they, they eat a lot of dairy or something, they get a magic dump, but not here. Alright, I feel like chat is going to appreciate this one a lot more than I will. This is Fort Fun. You don't have a lot of health in this one. So, it wouldn't be ROM hacking without, uh, well, you know. Look at this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, there, there's always got to be a troll hack. Look, look at this bullshit. I love it. I don't know if I'd say this is Kaizo. It's only one level, but... It is definitely of that variety of... Let's just fuck with the player. You never know what you can trust. The good thing is you don't die, uh, you just fall. Oh, no, oh, no, maybe you do die, it depends where you fall. I gotta say, I am pretty much uh, impressed, at least, with the fact that everything just kind of moves out of the way. Oi. Did Banjo ever have bottomless pits other than the Grunty fight? Or are you joking? Yeah, did you forget about the engine room? It's like the most famous room in the game. The room that everyone hates. Let's see what you say. In case you haven't figured it out yet. This is the troll hack. First of all, if you try to LRB out of this text, you will explode. So don't do that. This, this is true. problem with the engine room anymore. I had to show that off. Where was I? Right. Explain the hack. There were exactly 16 jiggies, or was that 10, and two empty honeycombs. I think it was 10. Make it fair, I won't use any troll more than once on you, technically. You fall for the same one twice, that's on you, though. Fair enough. Because me or is this explanation longer than it has to be? No, 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 if this is intended, it's one of the trolls. That actually makes a lot of sense. I'm impressed, though, that they, they found a way to make it so you explode if, uh, if you skip this. This text goes on for so long! 
It's, it just keeps going. Mumbo angry, turn into a little insect and let barren birds squish you, foolish box. Amazing. No! Oh no! God fucking damn it! I tried to roll into it! Oh, I see. I tried to roll into it and it just was like, hey, fuck you. What, what killed me? This is one that I definitely feel like, uh, I'm glad there are troll hacks. Y you know, troll hacks are, they're not for me. But there, there's a certain crowd that really appreciates these. Oh! I only have one at help. That's what's going on. This looks like a fun time. It is actually a fun time. It is called Fort Fun. Oh! Attacking them is causing me to die. That's what it is. Okay. So you can't kill them. Pulse, I don't need to take this from you. Man, you haven't even played the other hack. You wouldn't be able to get one Jiggy in this hack. There's a lot of interesting programming, though, that goes into this that I'm really curious about how they do everything. We'll see how much of this I want to do before I want to move on to some other stuff. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, Pulse is so happy, he's like, well, you know what, maybe I don't have to ban him if he just keeps suffering through this. Oi. Do eggs work? Okay, let me tell you something. I'm pretty sure the eggs would work and kill you. Listen, Pulse, if this comes out on Retro Achievements, it's not even on the site. There's like barely any Banjo ROM hacks on there. You better fucking badge this hack on stream or else I'm gonna be upset. If I have to suffer through this, uh, so do you. Danger. No. <laughs> oh, that is fucking rude. I see the glass. So, uh, let's say I badge, uh, Kaizo Mario. I could put that on the wheel, right? Just a uh, hypothetical question. Oh, that's pretty annoying to get. No, you're banned from the wheel. Wow! I have done nothing but be nice to your wheel, and this is the thanks I get. Alright, fine. JR, you can get the good games. JR, can you make like 10 point redemptions just for me to be like, hey, here's a really fun game to play, like a PS1 Doom for you to do. I can't believe this. You got Superman 64 on the wheel? Listen, 
I saw that you needed a good game to badge, and then you know what I said to myself? Even though I had to do the dice roll? Ultimately, it's not my fault Super Mario 64 is on there. Do you want to know whose fault it actually is? It's Gaul's. You may say it's not. Uh, I'm gonna tell you it is, because I asked like three different people, what number is Superman? And no one gave me an answer except for Gaul. Gaul picked the number that ended up landing on Superman. Don't hit Superman 64. Motherfucker, the first time he spanned the wheel after uh, he put it on there, he rolled it as a joke and it landed on Superman. It knew. Yeah, I do think you'll uh, you'll have a lot of fun though with uh, PS1 Doom if you can get past the awful controls. So I think you have to get all the Jinjos in one go. an easy way on retro achievements though to uh, request a game be added like an actual game not even just for a set just that almost got me really ban pulse XP if only uh, Alex was around you know I said uh, I'd let him ban you He's not around though. How you doing, Asayo? I knew that was gonna happen too! I thought the floor was gonna go under instead though. Oh, you just can't go on them. How are you? We're just showing off some banjo rom hacks. This is a, uh, a troll hack. But it's a fun hack. I mean, it's got fun in the name. How could it not be fun? Son of a bitch. This has incredible friction, as it turns out. Alright. Yeah, no, okay, that's what I was expecting. The, the shoe speed was heavily increased. Sometimes you gotta see. Go make a Mario Kaizo hack and put fun in it. Do you actually know how to make hacks? I'd be down. I'd try it. Uh, Pulse wouldn't. He he admits he, you know, he really hates uh, when people give him fun games that people really put their heart and soul into. Used to. Nice. I used to as well. I got into Mario World ROM hacking for a bit. What is fun? Uh, this level. It is actually called fun. Or fun. God damn, you can see that frog in the distance. Not the frog. Oh no! Okay, you can't show it right there, but they, they messed with the gravity. Take it easy, Jacebook. Thanks for stopping by. Let me see something. Yeah, no! They, they just messed with the gravity there. There's like a ceiling there or something. Oh, you did translations. Nice. I'm gonna recommend then uh, for everyone. Uh, there's a really good banjo... Not, did I say banjo? No, it's not even a banjo hack. We're, we're just, just, I got banjo on the mind! Uh, there's a really good Final Fantasy VI ROM hack that finally came out uh, in English. Well, Final Fantasy VI uh, T Edition. Yeah, apparently it stands for sushi with a T. But uh, the creator of that ROM hack wanted it to be like one of the most advanced uh, ROM hacks ever. And it, it, it kind of still is for Final Fantasy VI. 
But the thing is, is that the uh, the hack was, you know, just made for a Japanese audience on one very specific emulator, so uh, they had to fix that. It's been dealt with. Or ultimate needs a set. Yeah, it's, uh, T edition isn't even on retro achievements yet, but I am glad that. Uh... Let's see, a uh, T edition though, it got translated by Tomato. You may know him as the guy who translated all of Mother Three. Hey, oh, Maddie, what's up? Okay, I guess that works. Oh wow, it just straight up cancels. Ugh. That out. How did I get through that earlier? Apparently you could jump at that from certain angles, but the angles are pretty strict. fake thing right there, too. <laughs> this water does not exist, does it? No, no, the water actually exists. Just relaxing. That's what I like to hear. Ah. See. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was so fucking rude. I wasn't expecting that. Holy shit, that was great. That got me good. That's some water tension. Yeah, I think I just got Wily coyote is what happens. That goes the banjo. It's going really well. Welcome to a uh, troll hack. It's the only troll hack that exists, as far as I know. I, I really need to know how this was made. They do a lot of mean stuff in this hack. Oh god, why is there two things of music playing? Please decide which music you want to play, Grunty. Interesting. I got no fucking clue how you're supposed to get that. I suppose you're supposed to do it like this. Oh, that is what they want you to do. Okay. There is a ceiling there, that is how they're doing that, okay. Have you- 
Have you heard of polyamory? I have. Congrats on being polyamory. I assume that's what you're gonna tell me, because I don't see why else you would bring that up. Okay, so that just happens every time you go there. This is my mood. <laughs> I died. But well, turns out, uh, if you do that, you die. Once orange now, feed Chimpy. I got an orange for you if you would really like one. <laughs> Gorilla noises! Did that just say pulse noises? That is, that is rude. Yo, negative, what's up? What the dub did we do? Welcome, Raiders. We are checking out a bunch of- ah! We are checking out a bunch of Banjo ROM hacks. As you can see, this one is uh, very rude. It's, it's a troll hack. The only one that exists as far as I know. That's it, Pulse. This is going on your wheel as soon as this is even added to Retro Achievements, the site. It's only one level! I, I, you'll, you'll get through it in, like, an hour. Can you, like, give him a proper timeout? Because he's got such a potty mouth today. It's a rude, that Pulse. I need a hug, you're done with people. Yeah, you were telling me earlier. I hope you're feeling better. That sucks that people gotta be dinguses. Oh no, this already looks really bad. I don't even think there's a bouncy thing like that in Banjo, is there? Right, you can't hit these guys. Am I doing uh, pain? This is a this is a troll hack. They don't call him Sam Sam the Hermit Man for nothing though. Uh, this is this is the start of his uh, true journey. Who hurt Sam Sam? I want names. I know, right? Like, how can you hurt Sam Sam? The most innocent creature. Ah! That instant kills you. Bet it was Pulse? Nah, even Pulse wouldn't do that. Pulse may be greasy. He may be nothing but a redneck. He may put things on his wheel that he doesn't want to badge. He may be a rude ass, greasy ass, motherfucking ass Kentuckian. 
But no one, especially not Pulse, is mean to Sam Sam. But Have I missed any dumb hacks? You're missing the dumb one right now. JR is a heavy betrayer too. JR would never betray. JR has never betrayed me. Neve has never betrayed me. See, I don't know what it is. I think uh, Pulse and Traz are just a really bad influence. Even Traz has never betrayed me. I mean, he comes in here, he's like, you know, everything would be a lot easier if I didn't have fucking grease in my ears. Whatever that means. Really? You haven't betrayed me? That's a lie. Get ready for a jump rope emote. The wheels are in motion. The wheels! Are you seriously adding a jump rope uh, emote, Sam Sam? That's amazing. How is that a lie? I don't know. Uh... Anyone who makes anyone play Sitting Ducks GBA, uh, can't be trusted. I just want to check something. Okay, that is, that is instant kill. So there is no way to kill those enemies. It, it is just, like, the rule of nature to be nice to Sam Sam, no matter what. Like, how could you be mean to Sam Sam? You, you may be, like, the rudest person ever. You may be Pulse. But even a Pulse is nice to Sam Sam. Fuck your orange. Yellow? That's where the blue is. Where where is this yellow uh Jinjo? Fortunately the uh Stuff here resets. You leave the map. I have no idea how to get up there, though, is the problem. 
Eggs in the tool hole! Hey, that worked. Don't know if that was intentional or not, but it worked. Let me tell you something. That fucking kills you. Because we already did it, and also, it was pretty obvious. There he is. I am missing one G. Does anyone know where I haven't been? Um. I suppose the only thing I haven't done is bash that. But I don't know how to do that. Oh! I know how to do it. I just had an idea. I thought maybe this would have turned on or something. Nope. Alright, I just had a really big brain idea. You guys ready for a big brain strat? Got this big brain play. Well, I had to land on it, but uh, my goal is to just ground pound it and see if that works as a switch. That is a big brain play. Big brain strat, ban pulse. That is true. That is that is what people do with the big brains. You know, I really thought this was going to be the solution. I got nothing. Uh, does anyone have a suggestion? Because, I mean, this is like the only thing I could think of is something related to this. Are you able to bash out of the spin? It would not be a troll hack if that were the case. Oh. Was there anything on the back of the building? Uh, the big one we went to? Yeah. Unless you meant this one. I mean, we're at the end. Throw the monkey at it. Can't throw pulse at it. That's not nice. Oh, oh you went, you went, uh, chimpy. Um, maybe. So you have a DK one now? Nice, nice. Are you able to throw the orange? Do you mean the orange that you give to the monkey that we already did? Yeah, no, that orange is gone forever. That's not gonna be the solution. Hmm. 
Way easier to get to than I thought. Just do that. Hmm. I'm trying to think what it could be. Uh, I'm open to so solutions though because. Have you seen another flight pad? No. I'm trying to think what it could be. Can't use the uh, the gold feathers. I can rule that out. Stand on the arch. Mm, that didn't work. Yo, Evolution Turner Daisy, what's up? trying to think what, what it could be. When you say stand in the arch, what do you mean? Just, like, stand on top of it? And shoot eggs on the top. They're not gonna hit, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I had an idea. I wonder if it'll work. Trying to think. Um, so there's water. I'm wondering if the water will do anything. Like I'm, I'm sitting here thinking. I'm like, oh, what, what would work? Trailing eggs from the top of the target, yeah. Hmm, I got an idea. It's not eggs, then. Oh, this is bothering me. I'm, I'm really stumped on this, but, like, I'm too stubborn to quit. That's the thing. It's this is a troll hack, so it's not the case. That's why I'm trying to think. Hmm. 
Maybe this is a red herring, and maybe this isn't related to anything. Maybe the troll is that you can't break it? That's that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. But I feel like we've been everywhere else. Like, where, where else is there? I don't think you could break this. Pulse is probably laughing right now. He knows the solution. He's always like, oh, I, I beat this game in my sleep. Sure you did, Pulse, you know? Sure you did. Well, that's how they get you. Can't do that. Not there. Hmm. Serious, I'm stumped. I don't know. I don't know what else to get. Like, there's got to be a way we just didn't go. Where did we not go is the question. Is there a way into the building? Uh, yes. It's when you get all of them. Oh, wait. I'm a dumbass. I already have all the jiggies. The door is open. Wow. I am stupid. I was like, no, 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 that's everything. There is nowhere else to go. It didn't make sense. I was like, no, 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 that, that can't be. Hey, no one else noticed either, okay? No, these aren't even smooth brain hours. This is the thing. Like, Twelve thirty is not smooth brain hours. This this is regular hours. These are real stream hours, not real smooth brain hours. I gotta know. What even is that emote? A dry glide? The jewels, of course it is. What's the blue floor do? Wonder. Does that count as like proper water? You actually beat the heck. You only died 41 times! That cow guy. Special thanks to... 
Raiders of Banjo's Backpack, which is a powerful modding tool. It's a Targem Mitten. To learn Blender for this? I guess the I guess the windows are new. Well, let's end it the only way I know how. All right, that was that hack. Let's play a better one. By better, I mean actually good. I hope that was a fun hack for you, though. My wheel! We like Smash Bros. Just kidding, it's a Zelda 2 hack! Shrum is so pissed. We're going to San Diego. The headphones are on the desk and you just hear random- MY WHEEL! No, it's not- it's not North Dakota. No, it's not- it's not Argentina. So this is what the, uh, the Hyrule Temple looks like, I guess, in 3D. I hope this has been a fun stream for everyone, though, because uh, doing a setup like this for a stream is a lot of work, especially when there's stuff... Uh, uh, this is the only stream of hacks I've ever done for a Sunday where I have not played everything and like I made the hacks for myself so like well I didn't make the hacks but I mean like the the hack pile like the grab bag I always say uh, if you ever want to make a Sunday stream for me uh, let me know uh, you can send me the idea over discord That usually works. Uh, you can send me the idea, though, if you want to send me a pack of something uh, that you think would make a good Sunday stream and tell me the theme. I am always open to it. You got 18 done? 18 of what? Dr. Grecio. I am Dr. Mario. I can cool trick. I am Dr. Mario. I love that German kid. When are you badging Dr. Mario? Uh, never. I'm not afraid of it like Pulse is, but uh, I just won't do it. I don't like Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is a bad puzzle game. Finally, someone says it. Why would I play a baby game like that when I can play a, uh, a big brain game like Puyo? Now that I've said that, Icy is like, well, now that you've said that, uh, you'll be happy to do the Puyo stream, right? No. The Puyo stream wouldn't be a meme if uh, it ever happened. I've considered doing a Puyo stream 
at some point, but that's, you know, why would I do that? Bean Bean Machine. I would probably do the Kirby one, I kind of want the badge for that. The problem is, I, I am not good enough for how mean the AI gets. I knew you were here! God fucking damn it! <laughs> I know my chat too well. I don't even need to check. I, I just know. I have to stream uh, proper Mike Tyson's punch out at some point. There, are, I have not. I've only streamed in full the uh, the Wii one, which is the best game, in my opinion, so... And there's that. I feel like people who didn't like Wii didn't like that... It had a lot of mechanics. At least that's my opinion. But I don't, I don't know, I, I really like the game. Super Punch Out is good too. See, I didn't play that one as a kid, and I need to do that one blind. It's the only Punch Out game I've not beaten. Besides Tyson in uh, NES. Never beat him. Couldn't do it. That's something I want to do on stream, but you know, aside from that, I beat the game. Hey, it was a lot tougher. Oh, I'm well aware of how to beat him now as an adult, which is why I know I can do it. I just have to sit down and be like, all right, today's the punch out stream. And then we'll we'll do a, all right, today's the Tyson stream because realistically that's probably gonna take too much. But that is something I wanna do. Oh, hey, look, it's a preview for his other ROM hack. It's a, a screenshot of Jiggy's The Time. Hey, a lot of people say beating the game, you know, is fine if you get beat, you know, what's his name, Macho Man. Was this made before or after Banjo's announcement? Don't know. I honestly have no clue. Now, what I'm curious about is if uh, Traz would be willing to play this, or he would say, nope. It counts as Zelda. Can't play it. There is Zelda in Doom. He wouldn't play that either. Traz is scared. What can I say? Came out before. Interesting. Uh, I went up here earlier, but I want to see if there's maybe something I missed. Oh, yeah. I think I already played it. I think she she did it the other day. Her map was uh, excellent, by the way. That Doom map was just so much fun. 
let me tell you something important, chat. It's different if you're making a challenging game and you make it a fair challenging game. Everything about that was very well designed and it was mean and it was rude, but it was well designed. And that's the important thing. Never once did I get frustrated playing that and go, fuck this. They tested it, god damn it. Later. I didn't even need to use any feathers for that. So I, I know I never actually officially DM'd you, but I, I said it out in another stream. Uh, I don't know if you actually wrote down what I wanted for emotes. I, I was like, oh, I'll, I shouldn't have to DM if I if I said it on stream, some of the emotes I wanted. But I was like, hmm, maybe I should have actually done that. <laughs> oh well. See you, Jinjo. Yo, Karashi, what's up? Uh, based on Smash, it's, uh, the Hyrule Castle. You might have been away. Alright. I'll, I'll say them again. Uh, I'll figure out where to put them, but... I feel like there are three things that chat would want. Uh, weird? I don't know how you could do weird. I'm, I'm guessing a word probably would be best. Jank? Probably also a word. And, uh, probably trash. Probably just be a trash can or something. Is there a ghost over there? Get out of here. Strange? What do you mean, strange? Hey, there was a door that opened up. Oh, there it is. You think of a face? See, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know if weird would work for a face. Like, how do you convey weird as a face? I feel like, I feel like that's the thing with a weird emote. Is like, I know people will want it, so I'm like, fine. You win. You win, chat. You're getting a weird emote. I just, I don't see how a face would really work. Oh, oh no! Oh my God! Look at that save. Hey, look, uh, look, Sam Sam. It's, it's Zelda 2. I'm finally playing it. <laughs> Where's Shrub when he, I need him? We found the arrow room and everything. He's gonna be so mad. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is it. It's, it's really Zelda 2. This is the game that he wanted me to stream for so long! I finally streamed it. Alright, well, uh, you know, Zelda 2 is as good as I remember. You can clip that, you can uh, send it to Shrum. You haven't played this Zelda. Maybe you should. Uh, no, you don't need to play this one. I know you. You're not gonna play it. Hey, Sam, Sam, you you baby rage at the thought of playing Ocarina. You're just like, ah, Ocarina, baby rage. Then you go, my wheel! I can't play it. I got it's, the N64 has to be on my wheel. Actually, whoa. 
That's how you know Sam Sam is serious. Ocarina of Time may be coming sooner than anything. Okay, I'm not gonna recommend you do a three heart run on your first uh, run of the game, but it is easier to do the set like that. So I would say play it first and then just do the three heart. If you do Chivos on second run, then you could at least uh, Chivo for... You could at least, uh, you know, like I said, get the Chivos in one run for the three heart run if you like it enough. Well, the Mystery of Triforce, you need eight. Okay. No, I... I'm trying to leave, game. Jeez. The set is mostly good for Ocarina. Like, honestly, I, I just didn't like the fishing, and there were a couple of things here and there that made me scratch my head, but honestly, it was a pretty good set. Are you actually gonna stream Ocarina, or are you gonna say no? I won't judge. Oh, hey, this is from Jiggy's the Time. I had no idea this room was repurposed. actually kind of became real. That picture. We'll see soon enough. Hmm. Oh, I will. Yo, these Jinjos are like super rare. I've only ever seen three of them. I still need to grab one of them. Hey, JR, doesn't it sound like a Pulse stream demo? when uh, the extra life talks. <laughs> this did come out after Banjo got in Smash? Never mind then. It ain't easy being greasy. look for some stuff, it seems like. I'm just saying, uh, Pulse. At the end of the day, your, your stream has increased in viewers ever since Traz started doing the Pulse stream demo. I mean, honestly, you gotta thank Traz. What, what a nice guy, playing clips of your stream.
Now, Pulse always puts on a great show. He, he, he works through some uh, really difficult games. I definitely recommend checking him out. JR is pretty good too, even though he can't swim. I am missing a Jinjo somewhere. JR can't even find the go live, but oh well then you don't have to follow JR. Where is this last thing? I wonder. Anyone got any ideas? Cause my idea was basically just to like, Run like that, but it, you're just shy of that, so I guess it's not up there. I hear what sounds like a snake. I thought I just heard someone say help. Even though I'm crazy now. What is that? It's not, that's not the snake from uh, Banjo, is it? Masterpiece or disaster piece is happening. We're doing uh, Banjo ROM Hacks is the theme for this Sunday. I already know what next Sunday is gonna be, by the way. It's gonna be Edutainment with Popsky. I just have to pick the games. Even I don't know what games they're gonna be. I'm hoping I can get at least one musical game because I'm forcing Popsky to write a song live. He knows, I already told him. I was like, Popsky, you're gonna have to write a song in some terrible program that isn't going to be worth doing. It doesn't even need to be a long song, it could be like 10 notes for all I care, but I just think it would be funny. He wanted to see the stream though happen, so I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. You thought you heard a Jinjo in the door of time room. That is not here, that is. It seems like there's eight Jiggies, and I think the last one is from the Jinjo. Nah, I don't hear anything. Behind the note door. Okay.
hyenas already cackling. I hear them. Oh, fucker, there it is. But I missed that. Hey, this works out! The final jiggy is right where we have to put it. I told you! The, the hyenas! They're always cackling! I don't fucking know what it is! Every time. Goddamn hyenas. Always cackling. People do not believe me that the hyenas are real. Like, that's not even my meme, but it's just like... Oh no, it's true. You just, you just hear those hyenas cackling in the distance. Kirko mods, you've seen him enough times today. You're not really missing out if I don't show the credits. Uh, what hyenas? That is the sound that people make uh, when they know something that the streamer does not know and they're just laughing. You just hear the hyenas cackling in the distance. Great. Next hack. You liked Super Smash Bros. Melee. Do you like this other game on the GameCube? Did I know that hyenas are very closely related to cats? And that they're assholes? Yeah. Oh, oh, you meant, you meant because of their, like, genus. Yeah, I don't know that too. I don't know if this one's good. First, I'm probably gonna regret it. Okay, this remix is pretty good. It's kind of cool exploring this area in 3D. I mean, you know, Luigi's Mansion is 3D, but like, open like this. Like, you can just walk around the outside, you can't really do that. You know, you're, you're stuck to one screen in that game, so that's kind of neat to actually be able to say I'm doing that.
Yeah, it doesn't really work as well as as it does in the actual game. Give me enough. All right, take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my god, that's so loud. That's so many of them. Oh my god, they're stuck. One of the hacks I definitely want to say would be fun to do on stream, in terms of, like, a showcase. I feel like Mario 64 is one I gotta do at some point. There's a lot of good Mario 64 hacks out there. I could probably make a good night of that. There's definitely enough. Enough for me to do more than one. There's only enough for me to do one Banjo Night. Why do you need a fence and then another fence? That seems a little bit redundant. Oh man, there's even the skeleton in the in the graveyard. Hell yeah. There's the bone zone. Oh, wow, that actually works. <laughs> I was gonna joke. Holy shit, that's really cool. Stairs don't really work as intended, but... Pretty neat. If you've, if you've played the game, you kind of know how it works. Mention is haunted by Ganondorf? Oh no! Can you only go downstairs? That's suave. How many do I need? Thank you for the bits. It's just the hitbox is really bad. Z2? He's playing Z2 right now? Can you just post that clip of the banjo in his chat? Just like no context, just be like... Here it is. This He's gonna be so mad if you post it. That's surprised. Like, oh, uh, Juker's actually playing Zelda 2. He's he's gonna be livid. They like, time me out. He did that once that I raided and brought Pulse with you. Um, I think he'll time you out if you don't. down. If there's one thing I don't like about Banjo, I've talked about a lot, that I like about uh, Banjo-Tooie, is there's actual boss fights in Tooie. This game does not really have boss fights. 
minus uh, Cunty. I, I mean Grunty. Could use the boss fight though, even though I, you know, every hack likes to use that. Easy jiggy. Those boxes are really fast at mitosis. Eh, you know how it is. Hmm. I don't remember this being here. What the fuck is this? Sonic Colors. Damn. For something called Sonic Colors, there's like no color on that box. Must be the new version of the game. <clears throat> and the hitboxes on these doors are just terrible. Why do they have a Mario doll resting on top of the fireplace? Conquer. Boo. I guess it's just the thing in Banjo ROM hacks that you gotta hide like random games you like everywhere. No twin room. It's a shame. All right, let's. Uh... Now the downside to this hack is, uh, ghosts can only be killed in one way, and that does kind of suck. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. They did the original Banjo too. No, 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 I'm agreeing with you. It's just like, oh, well. I guess, uh, I'm very strapped for cash is the best way to put it. If there's a Gruntilda fight, I'm not doing it. I'm just, I'm, I'm letting you know that now. I do not like doing the grunty fight. Wii Sports. I forgot they sold Wii Sports in a box like that. Fuck. That's a rude ghost. Get out of here. I guess that's supposed to be the butler. Good old napper. <laughs> Gotta have napper. Napper is surprisingly a thing I don't think I've ever really seen. Did it say disturbs? I didn't even notice. What the fuck is- oh, it's the skeleton. This room is so laggy. I guess you can't get those unless you're what I only assume is the pumpkin. 
Give me to someone sad. No one is sad. Why would anyone be sad in this mansion? You have to watch his reaction to that clip. Okay, can you can you post it and then you can clip it and send it back to him? This is how tonight is gonna be, isn't it? says you fart a lot it's true i do i have ibs i'm just gonna make fun of someone with ibs that's not nice wait a minute this the fuck this is this is in this is a luigi's mansion 3 room Okay, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. We're gonna we're gonna watch this live. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's watch this. I gotta be honest with you, this is one of the most offensive things I've ever seen. Um, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of things on this platform. Um, I've been here since they, you know, brought out Affiliate the first time. Um, I've been here... You know, through the whole, uh, you know, hot tub controversy, I've been here through the whole, you know, um, Dr. Disrespect getting banned controversy. And uh, I got to be honest with you, uh, this is this is one of the most offensive things um, that I've ever that I've ever witnessed on this platform. This with you this is one of the most offensive things i've ever seen in my um, defense i've seen a lot of i've seen a lot of i had no clue this platform that this was even uh, going to show up tonight i've been here i didn't know that was going to be there you know brought out affiliate the first but uh shrum is right um, uh this is I've pretty offensive here, it's offensive that you know, uh through the whole, you know uh, I have to go and uh, experience this hate with this uh, rude guy who is so rude. You can go follow him at shroom underscore E and you could uh, display your rudeness after you follow him and how, uh, you know, it was just so hurtful. The things that I did, you could you could just go there. It's I mean, just look at it. It's It's just pretty fucked up. I gotta be honest with you, this is one of the most offensive things I've ever seen. You know, after all this time, he wasn't even there. That's what he's upset uh, about, right? He's upset that he of, he just wasn't there for the Zelda 2 stream? I've seen a lot I, can't, I can't imagine why he would want to, you know, say it's I've offensive. I've been here since they, you know, brought out Affiliate the first time. Um, I've been it's here, shame. you know, through the whole, uh, you know, hot tub controversy. I've been here through the whole, you know... Um, <laughs> Doctor Disrespect getting banned controversy. Oh no! And, the raid has uh, come at the worst time. Uh, this is this is one of the most offensive things. Um, <laughs> this has only gotten worse. That I've ever that I've ever witnessed on. Hey, I, you're watching Streamception right now. Uh, I this happened. I sent this t to Shrum, and this is his reaction to a clip. I gotta be honest with you. This is one of the most offensive things I've ever seen. 
Um, I've seen a lot of... I've seen a lot of things on this platform. All right, enough um, of that. Uh, camera display capture. I, I'm sorry, Shrum. I know it hurt your feelings. I should have. Uh, I should have waited for you with the Zelda two, but you know, I I didn't know it was going to be in that. What is this unprofessionalism? Unprofessionalism. That was pretty professional, if I do say so myself. Welcome. Uh, we're doing banjo rom hacks tonight. Uh, that was, uh, that was it just amazing is what it was. Ah, big. I don't even know if I could fucking explain what just happened. You just had to be here. There was, like, there was a Zelda 2 ROM hack that came up, and it wasn't even, like, a Zelda 2 hack. It was, it was the Ocarina of Time map from uh, Melee. So it's not even that. It's, it's just the Hyrule Temple map. And all of a sudden, fucking Zelda 2 shows up and no one's expecting it. Not even me. This motherfucker calls me out and is like, wow. <laughs> it's a shame. Uh, there is a thing I want to do on Twitch that I cannot do it yet. But we are going to do it uh, next year. So, I realized if we did it this year, it wouldn't really work, but one of the things that I want to do, and I've, I've talked about it a few times, I want to do, for next year, I want to do a fake award show where we just, we, we have some fun and we just laugh about uh, different, different dumb stream moments, and we have different categories and we just vote on them. Best game we stream that year, worst game we stream that year, uh, best moment, like, like, funniest moment, uh, best gamer moment, worst gamer moment. Uh, I wanna open it up to a bunch of categories, I, and, like, best rude moment is, is definitely gonna be a contender for a category, cause that was pretty rude, if I do say so myself. It doesn't tell me how many notes I need. Damn any, I suppose? So anyway, uh, how was World of Horror? Mess with Shroom's emotions. I didn't do that, and you didn't stop me. No one in chat stopped me. You're all responsible. You you could have said, "Jugger, this is not a time for this." Oh, Shroomy, there he is. I can't believe Shroomy even showed up in this hack. Thanks, Shroomy. Oh my god, look at the butt boy! There he is! You didn't think he'd watch it immediately live. I did. I knew he would. He could not resist something that rude. My only regret is that Traz was not here to witness such betrayal, such hatred, such rude power. It wasn't even directed toward Traz, you know, like, no Neve, no Pulse. I think that's what makes it uh, extra rude.
Oh my god, the fucking camera here is so bad. If I'm gonna be honest for you, any... Any stuff with this hack totally got ruined by the fact that just... That clip came up at all is, is definitely killed a lot of momentum of this hack. Yeah, it's a shame. I really thought uh, Traz would be uh, streaming more. But uh, instead, it's like someone uh, went up to him and said, Traz, fuck you, never stream again. It wasn't me, though. I would never say that. Hey, it's Punch Out Wii. Played by this team. Stop. Hey, this is the moon we saw in that other hack. Unlike Luigi, Banjo does not need to blow up the moon because uh, Luigi is a fucking asshole. You would blow up the moon? Wow. You said the Punch Out Wii team did this? Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Not, not this. They obviously didn't do this. You tell Traz to never stream again? Here, here, I'll let you clip it. Uh, get ready, okay? Wait, you know what? Actually, don't clip this because if I'm gonna do it, we gotta do it in front of a bird. I gotta really just be extra rude and like show him bird love and everything. Oh, he's gonna be so fucking mad if I do it. You might actually ban me. I gotta say, health would be really nice in this hack. There's all the health. What is this just respawn? Hell yeah. Infinite health? I don't know why you're respawning, but I appreciate the health. I love doing this as well in, in uh, Banjo ROM hacks. I don't know why, they really like making levels that are just not the game you're playing. They just like throw in like a random like Zelda level or something like this. Because quite a few hacks have done that. Now some of them are by that one guy, Kirko. Uh, this isn't Kirko though. It's a thing in ROM hacks? Yeah, but I feel like it's more of a thing with Banjo. Maybe it's because there's not a lot of Banjo hacks. It seems more like it's a thing, if that makes sense. Like, Banjo ROM hacking is still so new that it feels like they're doing it more than they already do.
I definitely agree, though. It's a cool thing to do in a ROM hack, and I'm glad you can make crossovers like that, and that's kind of part of the fun of it. Like, there was that really bad uh, Conquer Link to the Past hack, which was, like, the sequel to Parallel Worlds originally. I heard that was uh, not that great, but it's cool that it's exactly that. Yeah, I, Sonic doesn't really do that, actually. I guess Sonic is, like, the exception there. Okay, bye. Hitting some of these is also a little bit hard. hack, though. I would say this is maybe the worst one we've done. That isn't even to say that it's bad, though, just, like, everything else was just so good so far. Yeah, it's not even bad. It's it's really just, you know, with all the hacks there are, it's like, hmm, that makes sense. I had no idea they were here, honestly. I don't really know why they're here either. What's in this room normally? Smash Ultimate. Oh, it's the Fortune Teller room. Okay. It seems like the enemies don't want to die in this game. Uh, we need five is enough to be able to do anything. Camera angles definitely don't help my opinion of the sack, though. Because it makes it hard to see where the doors are with the lighting being so gloomy and dark on purpose. That's that's what I'm saying! It's, it's something that I'm like, hmm. I get why, but also, like, I need to be able to see where the doors are. The doors are, like, I'm pretty sure they're green, right? At least they're supposed to be green. Those bones rattling downstairs. <laughs> Hi, 
I might be stumped because they want me to get more notes, but I don't know where. Oh, it's all the Mario's items. That's what those are. Okay, that's neat. Oh, his star, his shoe, his dirty glove, and his hat. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good reference. Ah! Niki. I think I see what they want me to do. Just like the actual game. Oh, okay, that's not how that's supposed to work. Definitely a glitch. Wow. Okay. You really made the hitbox not great on this. Banjo Kazooie. Is there? There it is. I'm gonna say there should be a mirror in this room. I think that's enough to move on to the next area. Like the fact that it doesn't tell you how many notes you need really sucks. Out of here. Oh no, this fucking room in the basement. Better not be a fucking snowman in the distance. No, you want me to do this with ice physics? No, no fucking way. Ever what the fuck is that? Why is there boo here? What is that? What is that? All this for a fucking empty honeycomb? That is not worth it. You gotta be fucking kidding, they better not kill me. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if that killed me, I'm done. They're in the treasure room, no coincidence there. Hey. It's the snowman ghost! Okay. Can you not give me... Extreme PTSD of cursed snowmen. You don't make a rude Kaizo hack. Like even the troll hack that we played earlier today and beat did not have a snowman because they knew ah, no one wants to deal with that. This is this is just the Mad Monster Mansion basement. This isn't even like new. This, yeah, this is just the exact same thing. What do you- That is lazy. Man. You at least, you know, make something new if you're gonna do that.
Snowballing balls from DKC. Through. Well, I more so meant the snowmen in this game that throw snowballs at you. Terrible enemy. Absolutely awful enemy. I will say, um, in terms of a full playthrough, there are two hacks that I guarantee we will do a full playthrough of when they come out. Ow. Oh, it's this room from 3. I'm glad I played 3 so we know this. Uh, we're going to do Nostalgia 64 when that comes out in full. We're also going to do... Uh, Banjo-Kazooie Returns, which might come out next year. I don't know if it actually will. I hope that one actually comes out, Banjo-Kazooie Returns. I know Nostalgia 64 is almost done. That's a way to get out. Okay, well, we could warp. We at least know that this doesn't kill you, so... Oh my god, that almost actually killed me. Hey, Bottles! Uh, can you heal me, please? There's, like, no fucking health in this game. God damn it. It's not actually bottles. What that means. Only uh, he bottles that like have moves heal you. Hey. Alright, who's expecting me to die? Because I'm pretty ready to die. Oh, never mind. We're saved! Didn't think I had that health over there. I forgot I killed them earlier. Okay. We gotta get flushed down the toilet. We have to go into the backyard. Am I forgetting any other spots? Or is that all chat? I think that's it. Uh, kitchen, it just leads to the backyard, so that's on the way. Rude. 
Mario Party 2. I don't understand what you're supposed to do here. This doesn't make any sense because you can't do any damage. check something. Yeah, I don't see how you're supposed to be able to get that, because the ghost just kind of comes up. I'll try one more time. I guess that works. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I think I think that was wrong. Honestly, it's really hard to tell in these hacks. I don't know about you, but I definitely could not tell what I was doing there. If that was working or not. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive that a toilet can flush an entire pumpkin. This is also just the regular toilet. Like, they didn't even change this. Well, preview for later this, the next week. I guess they changed one thing. That's impressive that someone flushed an entire game case down there. I am out of ideas on what to do. I don't even think there's anything up here that I missed. I'm ready to move on to the next one. You guys think we should move on? You tried working the shaft. I want to try one thing. You want to explain that to your plumber that you flushed that? Just double check in one thing. Yeah, I don't see anywhere else to go. I just want to check the basement. I don't have a hundred. Uh oh. 
Well, at least we get health. Alright, we're gonna check the basement. If the door opens, then we'll continue. If it's a grunty fight, I'm I'm done. I don't want to do a grunty fight. I appreciate that even the ROM hackers, I've noticed, usually don't like the Grunty fight. They're like, eh. No one likes Grunty. That fight sucks. Is there a single person that actually likes the Grunty fight? Good boss music, that's about it. It's a rude fight, like, ugh. Oh, it's just so mean, and, like, doing a damage list once, I fucking hated that fight so much. I hated it before I did that, too. I wanted the badge, though, and, uh, to get the badge, I had to do that. Well. I'm out of ideas. Alright. It's just too easy to get hit. Like, she just spams fireballs at the end, and that's my real issue. Alright, here's one I've been excited to try out, is gonna be next. I'll do like one or two worlds of this one. The funny thing is, you don't even need to do the beat bomb. Is this pizza pasta? Oh my god, it is. Pizza pasta. Deliver it. To my house and put it on my. So this is Banjo Kazooie Worlds Collide. What's special about this hack is it is a a level and another level mashed up for each part. But why the pizza music? So we got Witchy West, which is Witchy World, and I don't know, TikTok Tree. Might be a shorter hack than I was expecting, actually. Yo, okay, this rules. I guess this is Glitter Gulch and Witchy World. Neat idea though for a heck. Oh, I guess that's the note pickup noise. What is that noise supposed to be? Because it's familiar. Oh 
on the tip of my tongue. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's, it's gonna bother me for the rest of the night. I think this is the entire world which I'm okay with for a showcase stream like this. I think otherwise I'd probably be pretty upset. Cool though, just how much stuff you could change in these ROM hacks. In here, then. <laughs> this might be like uh, Banjo Dreamy, actually, where you have to collect notes to progress. Like note focused rather than, you know, jiggies. everyone's favorite queen. Can't believe my Wild West theme park got shut down. Ah yes, the old train crash. Oh yeah, game development's real easy. Uh, me, a game developer. Totally, totally a real game developer. Uh, know how easy it is to develop games. Disclaimer! I have no idea how to make games. Don't actually take that as fact. I've never made a game in my life. Oh my god, the camera. The camera is so bad! I do not like this. This is, this is pretty bad. I think what doesn't help is like, I can't even fucking see where I am. Oh, now the camera wants to work. That was terrible. I, you know, I don't usually see the N64 camera being that awful. It's not really any better here. Seems like though this is the entire world, which again, I'm totally okay with 
the size of this for a showcase. I would definitely want something meatier if I was playing, you know, anything else. Shooting gallery. Oh, hey, it's this music. Okay, that's pretty cool. We're having a hoot nanny. Imagine if you touch the ground, you'd probably die. Actually, you're totally okay with the uh, landing. Star prize. Okay, that's pretty clever. Yeah, they wouldn't put a feather down there and have it be safe or uh, you know dangerous. Unless we did see a hack that did that today, so. Charming, though. Check out the next level, and then we'll probably move on. Maybe we'll do one more. Hey, that's all the notes. Alright, so yeah, okay. This is just like Dreamy, where there are no actual jiggies, it's it's just get the notes. But, the difference being is that you actually have all the moves in this one, so it's more forgivable, I feel. Ooh. Uh, let's take a look at TikTok tree, but I want to see what's behind the door. TikTok tree. Well, I know it's supposed to be click clock wood, right? But what's... Was it just all four seasons in one? That's what's happening. Oh, it is. Okay. Interesting. Look, there's that fucking snowman. Oh, it's every season at once outside. Neat, right? Oh, that is kind of cool. Let's see, so we're gonna have to figure out how to move that boulder. My favorite thing is when you can uh, break the boulder in a season where he can access the boulder when it's moved, and he just is not programmed, so he doesn't know what to do. And he's like, someone move the boulder. That 
that was a very big boulder. Well, we picked up a boulder with relative ease. Well, there's only one snowman. He's not in a spot that's gonna, you know, betray you or anything. It's my fault if I get hit there. I don't have a problem with that. I got a problem with some snowman fucker knocking me off a ledge. Still not really sure what the note pickup sound is. Like, it's, it is so familiar, and it's a sound I've heard. This is a really cool concept, though, for Click Lock Woods that I think works better than the actual level. I've always loved the idea of Click Lock Woods, but, you know, playing it is an entirely different beast. It's not the one-up mushroom, it's, uh... No, the one-up mushroom is... Oh, no, no, that's not. That's not it. Fuck! Oh, I wish I could look it up, but this is a thing you can't really look it up. Number two, there we go. Well, I mean, this level isn't offensive, it doesn't have awful camera. Whoa, 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 hold on. What do you mean you found all the notes? There is 10 notes and then there is 11 notes? What? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you make inconsistent note numbers? It, it could be. The other thing is, the notes in this are a lot easier to find than they are in Dreamy, so maybe, maybe this is the same guy and decided, wow, maybe I shouldn't make a hack that uh, you don't have any of the moves. Doesn't really work. Pasta, put it in a box. Deliver it to my house and put it on my... Hmm. 
Rich Ruin Cove. Old Nab Nuts Port. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I don't wanna play more of this. But I wanna see what the levels are. Okay. Mayhem Temple and Treasure Trove Cove. Oh. Yo, this music. It's a pretty good mashup, yo! Why does this mashup work so well? This is not a mashup that should work. Fuck up, Juju. Hacking its really fucking bad camera, though. Especially when there are enemies right there, I don't appreciate bad camera. We're basically just exploring. I'm not gonna get all the notes. I'm sure the other worlds later on get really interesting, but I think for a showcase stream, like I said, I'm totally okay with just being like, I don't need to see them all. I really like the idea though of this hack a lot. I think more so than a lot of the other hacks. For, for an idea, I think it's genius to do mashups. I mean, surely no one in chat would ever mash up two things, like Sonic and some kind of streamer. No one would do that. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Don't know what this is. Get her inside of a shell. Uh, normally I would listen to what Nipper has to say, but uh, fuck off, Nipper. You get to live here forever. Enjoy your new house, bitch. Sonic and DuckTales! Yes, that's correct. I need to check one thing, though, before we leave. Nope, bad level. No snacker. No snacker, I mean, like... What's even the point of making a beach level if you're not gonna include snacker? Banjo-Tooie was too scared to include snacker. You ever notice that? We're just like, nah, we can't do it. Too mean of an enemy. Nayab note support. So this is Jolly Roger and what is this? I knew I was like, oh. Rusty Bucket and Jolly Roger definitely go together. I can't argue with this. I mean, the mashups work really well. No Snacker is a good level. What are you, me playing Doom and realizing there's no Arch Files in the game? Snacker's really nice. Salty water. Okay, that's a reason to not be able to swim for that long. Not a good reason, but it's a reason. What? 
game and it's bad cameras. Admittedly, this is a part of the game where I would wish that there was uh, a Tui hacking so we could get some of the stuff from Tui in. doing here? People look at us, they get us funny and ticking? What? Oh god damn it, it's these again. We saw this earlier. I'm sure your dad is father of the year. I, I am sure of it. You can have him. <laughs> Mr. Drippy. Drippy being the dinosaur. Oh, Drippy. These are tiny compared to sharks, are they? Yeah, I've never seen a bee near a shark, so I don't know if I can believe that. I'm gonna need some proof. Sorry, that just it doesn't seem like it has any uh, proof that backs that up. Pretty outlandish claim, if I do say so myself. Alright, we're gonna check out one more hack. Bob Hoskins told you. Okay, well, if Bob Hoskins told you, I can trust Bob Hoskins. I miss you, Bob. So it might be really short, but I think this will be a good one to end on. Uh, if it's really that short, we'll try something else. This is minigame madness. Look at my game show. Play and win all four games to win the grand prize. God damn it. I can just walk through the curtain. Uh, is it really just the same minigame? Hold on. I can't even leave. Uh-oh. Neat idea, but if it's just gonna be the minigames, we'll, we'll just do another one. Ooh, yeah, that's a deal breaker. Uh, sorry. That's... We're gonna do another one. And that sounded so much cooler than it actually was. If it's just gonna be the stuff uh, I could just do in the normal game, I don't see a reason to play it. Crystal Jiggies. This will be the last one. Where do my moves go? Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, James Jars is in this. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh wow, this is actually like the 2E stuff. Alright, take it easy, Jet. Thanks for stopping by. What the f what is that? A jar of honey? That's pretty clever if that's the case. I'm sorry, why is this solid? Why would you ever change that? What? It's a little strange. Yo, B, what's up? How are you? It's not jam jars. Oh no, never mind, it is. It totally is. staff that worked. Oh no. You new ones. Ooh. Link of an old game guy. <laughs> Yo, Becky, we're checking out a bunch of ROM hacks uh, tonight. They're all Banjo ROM hacks. Uh, this is the last one we're doing tonight, though. This is Legends of the Crystal Jiggies. What? 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 Why did you? Why did you change that? Wait, what? <laughs> Exchange. What? What? No! I just got scammed. I can't believe I just got scammed like that. Bottles it tricked me. He fucking launched me off the ledge. That looks nice. Honey Heights. The only level we can go to. Batteries? You found a battery specifically for my launch pad. Come find me and I'll tell you more- what? Okay. It's jam jars. Oh, right. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah. Totally. Fuck that spider. Those are just Duracell. Yeah, yeah, they were. You know, times have hit Jam Jar hard. He's really uh, selling out with these batteries. I would say it's Banjo, but I mean, they, they're not selling out. They don't got anything to sell out to. Ha! 
How many fucking batteries do I need? Oh, it's that uh, pipe that exists in like one spot in the game. Okay. Oh, notes still exist and this gives you five? Interesting. This is trying to do something different, and it might not be working, I'm not really sure yet, but I at least appreciate it for trying something different, you know? I can tell, like, a lot of work went, went into this. what that was earlier. Okay, that's kind of cool. They wanted to go for something different. This is just a room from the normal game. God, wait, wait a minute. This is like the DK64 anxiety music. Yeah, that's the Crystal Caves music. Oh, God. Why would you do this to me? I don't know why that had to be in that room, though. Like, why couldn't you just put that in another room? I feel like less effort goes into something when you just reuse stuff. But I suppose hacking is still relatively new that like, I guess it should be forgivable. At least, I still feel like it should be. You gotta be fucking kidding me, come on. I gotta know what the batteries do. Still Worlds Collider or is this another hack? Uh, this is another hack. This is Legends of the Crystal Jiggy. Not a big fan of having to do a lot of jumps like this, though. Dude, come on. That's not fair. Idle Curiosity, what was the Smash-inspired hack? The Smash-inspired hack was just called Hyrule Temple. Oh 
Oh my god, the batteries actually... Interesting. Are they eggs? Feathers? I guess we'll find out in a moment. The count is going up, that's why. Reese's launch pad's on the force, so I think it will come in handy for you two, punks. Is that it? So it's flying. It's not any different. I don't see why you changed that to batteries, then. The grand pen from that one game. Okay. Whoa. That bee turned into Shadow the Hedgehog for a moment. Uh, Jam Jars is doing fine. Oh! That thing from uh, Banjo Tooie that I hate. Cool. And Jiggy's in every level? Okay. No! Oh. See, I like all the custom stuff in this one, but I'm still not really sure about how to feel about this one. You could even see it was a feather there for a second when it flies out. I don't know, I was promised new moves. It's just, uh, kind of disappointing. Banjo's legs are untextured. Oh my god, Wobbly, you're right. How are you doing, by the way? We're pretty much uh, done here, but I'm checking out this last hack. How can it be untextured, though? Like, you would assume they would just use, like, the normal model, but I guess not. Also, Wobbly, I don't know if you heard, but the Minecraft saga here has come to an end. Uh, Ooze is gonna be teaching me how to play Minecraft at some point. Yeah, after finally getting the account information from my brother, uh, I talked to... I talked to, uh, the people at Mojang, and they were like, Hey, so, uh, funny story. You need the transaction ID, and you need email proof. Okay, so you have none of these things, even though I clearly did. Uh, do you know what their answer was? Oh, um, the transaction ID you needed that we didn't tell you that you needed? We told you to get the transaction ID, we didn't say which one. You got the PayPal one. That doesn't work for us. We can only do, uh, the, the Mojang one. And then they also didn't answer my other questions when I was suspicious about how come there's, like, no information on this thing. And then they, uh, closed the ticket. That was my fourth ever ticket asking about this Minecraft account. God, Mojang has some shitty fucking service, so Oozworm, good guy that he is, go follow him. Decides to, uh, get me a copy of Minecraft. Getting me a copy of Minecraft was so much harder than it needed to be, though. You may be asking, what's so hard about getting a copy of Minecraft? Uh, it turns out, if you go on the store right now and try and buy someone a Java gift code, you can't do that. You actually cannot do that. We don't know why. We have no clue. So, we checked everywhere. Oh man, I really like the bubbles right there. I think that's a really nice uh, touch. 
It turns out the only place you can get Java Minecraft uh, cards anymore is fucking Best Buy for some reason? Why? Minecraft be trash? Something wrong with Minecraft. There's something wrong with Mojang and there's something wrong with, you know, Microsoft. That doesn't mean the game is trash. I don't understand that at all, though. Like, I'm sorry, but that is some terrible service. So, yeah, eventually Ooze found a way to get me uh, the code. So, if you don't know Ooze Worm, uh, go give him a follow. I'll even, even shout him out right now. I don't know when it is, but I'm going to be on his channel at some point over a few streams. Uh, learning Minecraft, and he's eventually going to do Oozecraft Season 3, and I'll probably be a part of that, too. Yeah, but is it Java Edition or is it Bedrock? That's the important thing, and Bedrock no one likes. Ooze is the real goat. No, that doesn't make sense though, Horizon, because why can you still buy it and it works perfectly fine uh, when you go elsewhere? No reason. Code worked perfectly fine, I'm able to play the game, I can load it up right now. I'm not going to, but you could do that. That's bad service. Yes, Ooze Room is the GOAT. Normally I would look for Jiggies, I just want to see what the next world is. And if I can go in it, we're gonna check it out briefly. Um, funny story, even after I got the game uh, installed, it would not install properly because of my computer having uh, Windows updates disabled and Windows 10 being awful, so I had to download an external launcher and said fuck it. I'm just not meant to play that fucking game. Uh, Java, the Java edition. So, the saga comes to an end, though, finally. Uh, there is no more worrying about trying to get this fucking Minecraft camp working. It works. I assume that's just the warp. Yeah, we know how it works. Donkey Kong! Coral Canyon. That is so coral. I have a feeling the gravity pad is just nothing interesting and is just the pad that lets you use the shock spring. But either way, um, wow, uh, I'm very disappointed in the Minecraft uh, service and uh, specifically Heck Agent Thor. I was rude. Oh, yeah, it absolutely is. Look. It goes right up there. Alright, I just want to see what the level looks like, then we'll call it. Oh man, this is a pretty level.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Different colored eggs. I mean, you know, again. There's there's some neat stuff here. I'm curious if uh, some of this stuff is completely different or not. What the? Did you say fucking torpedo? Oh my god! What have you done to Stacker? Holy shit, that's terrifying. That is so much worse than the shark. I hate it! The music and the comedy. Oh my god, it's, it's so fucking scary! I take back what I said earlier. Uh, Stacker, you know, Stacker rules. Oh, there's a jiggy there. Yeah, you're sad in every fucking uh, hack. We get it. I, dude, I don't even care. Just fucking get over it, man. Go dance around about your fucking money. He's got, he's got like two piles of gold bars and he's crying. D -d fucking grow the fuck up, dude. Oh my god, you put a fucking Jinjo down there too, you... It's so fucking mean! That even does the bite! Okay, gravity pads. Oh my god, there's actual, like, different areas here. That's kind of neat. So maybe this hack is better than I expected after the first world, but, uh... Yeah, first impressions of this one wasn't very good. Uh, has some cool ideas. I see they're doing something from uh, Tui right here. No Peak Mountain from uh, Majora's Mask. I'm gonna see if I can find eggs. We're going back in the water. Alright, everyone out there who decides to make hacks, it is now your job to make something better than Torpedo Snackers. I don't make the rules, this is just uh, how it has to be. Let me in! Let me in! That we died. Intentional death warp, we swear. 
I was right, yeah. It's just the shock pad. Not really a new move. That's not a new move, that's just the same thing. A level over there. No torpedoes over here. Oh. What the f is this music? It's like a more ang anxious version of the Witchy World theme. You're a locksmith? Nice. Who are you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith and, uh, I'm a locksmith. That's one of my favorite dumb jokes. I'm a locksmith and, uh, you know, I'm a locksmith. I think we're uh, we're done for today. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, it seems you get whatever that is. I don't even know what that is, but that's uh... that's a thing. Whatever that thing is, it might be like a light bulb. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I always say Sundays are possible because of you. Uh, it's great doing different themes every week. Hard to do, but it's always fun. Uh, it's always fun doing a grab bag too, especially. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, let me know if you have a Sunday theme you ever want to do. I would be happy to do it at some point if it's uh, interesting enough. And we can make it work. It'd be fun. Uh, I already know who we're raiding. We don't really have a choice. But, what is our raid message? Yo, snack racket. Has to be. Okay. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use a uh, Torpedo Snacker. Alright, we're raiding uh, Shrum. I don't really have a choice. Gotta raid him. It's gonna be hilarious. Uh, thank you all so, so much for being here. We're gonna play Bubsy 2 on Tuesday. Or Bubsy then. Uh, Friday will probably be Bubsy 3D. Thursday is Community Night. You guys get to pick the games. Uh, Sunday is gonna be Edutainment with Popski. I don't know what the games are going to be yet, but I uh, look forward to that. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Uh, let Shrum know that Zelda 2 is your favorite game. Thanks so much for stopping by. Peace out. Have a wonderful night. Be excellent to each other and take it easy.